What's up everyone? Hello, welcome to another short chapter of Fire Emblem Engage. Chapter 13, Oasis Village. Maps and deserts are never long, so I'm not worried about my video time at all. How's it going, Raisins? It's going pretty well. Yeah, no, this has got to be our shortest chapter yet. In fact, I think every feature on this chapter that we'll open up and see uh, will lend itself to being the shortest one yet. So I can't <laughs> nice. wait to open it up and see this uh, clear and um, unobstructed and uh, well-lit avenue to the boss we have that we're going to have in this map. So. I did peek at the preps here, so I, I appreciate the funniness. I saw the Lin Paralog has opened up uh, the other side of the map. Uh, I'm going to leave the Paralogs for a little bit longer because, as I said, I want some more characters, I want some more rings, and I want some story progression. Uh, but at some point, I'm going to start you know, bumping them off because I'm really curious about what they are. People have been hyping them up a little bit. So, let's see, we get into it. Begin this chapter. Because, uh, I, weren't they in the palace last time the story ended? They were, right? Yeah, we were just chilling out in the palace. Okay. And then, I can't exactly remember what happened to that. It was like under prince. They were like, oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. Divine one. There you Royals go. of the Three Kingdoms. Welcome to Solm Palace. I'm Sephoria, the Queen of Solm. It's an honor to meet you, Queen Sephoria. And you. Really, it's a treat. And a surprise. I never expected Fogato to bring the Divine Dragon here. Out of everything he's done on his outings, this is the most impressive. Damn. I was just doing what mm -hmm. any prince would do for his queen. That's mom to you. My son tries to act so cool, so detached. Anyway, those introductions when you arrived, there were a lot of them. First you, Divine One, and then the Pyrenees, Brodian, and Illusion royalty. Quite the guest list. I was so overwhelmed, I nearly fell off my throne. You have my apologies. We're here about a very important matter. Yes, you said. Fell Dragon Sombron's return. I had no idea all that was happening. And he created those creatures, hmm? That explains why they're so vicious. But your palace hasn't been attacked by the corrupted? Or illusion forces? Oh, it has. We got rid of them. I see. You got rid of them. Wait, really? All of them? You seem surprised. I'm impressed, but certainly glad no one's breached the palace. I'm sorry to hear the other countries are having a harder time of it. And Queen Lomera, I visited her in Lethos many times. She was always very gracious. Naturally, the Queendom of Solm stands with you in your war against the Fell Dragon. Thank you. On that note, I have a request. The Ring of the Radiant Hero, which was entrusted to Solm. May I take it? Of course. I'll get it right away. Wait. Hmm. Where was it again? Oh, God. I haven't mm. seen it for a while. Fogato, do you know where the ring might be? No clue. Maybe it's in the doodad drawer? Hmm. Please, wait here a moment. They didn't use a museum like everyone else? Oh. No. Okay. The doodad drawer. Has it been lying around in a musty cupboard this whole time? This is one of the strongest emblem rings. I... I don't know what to say. Ah, you know what? I just remembered. Tamara took it with her. Tamara? My sister. Also the crown princess. She's set to inherit my crown. And like Fogato, she's always out doing who knows what. To be fair, I acted the same when I was young. Anyway, she's been gone for days. Probably on a camping trip. Oh, that sounds great right now. So it's true. The crown princess and prince aren't around much. And she doesn't know when they'll be back. <laughs> we can look for Princess <laughs> Tamara. Do you have any idea where she might be? I think she was heading to the southern desert, in which case she'd set up camp in the oasis. All right, then. We'll head there. You know, a trip to the oasis is just what I need. I'll pack my things. Ooh. Yeah, actually, Mom, how about you? Oh, come on. Stay put. Come oh, on. All right. New kids go on without me. That was easy to convince her. If you find Tamara, yeah. do summon the emblem, will you? I'd love to meet him. Be careful. It's already getting dark out. Come on, everyone. I'll lead the way. 
Oh, uh, looking forward to having them on my party, but this will do. I uh, know. Come on, should be cool. <laughs> Let's see. This meat is gonna hit the spot. I hope you're hungry for fun, cause that's what's on the menu first. <clears throat> and now, an exclusive performance from the one and only Tamara. That's this game story, all right. That's engaged, all right. Performing my favorite song with my backup singers, yes. Marin and Panette. Ready? As am I. Hope you remember the words. And a one, and a two. Meet, meet, meety, meet, meet. What have we here? A bunch of pretty birds squawking away in the night. Ha! Cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap is right. But there's nothing cheap about the ring that one has. Let's grab it. Midi, midi, ah uh, yeah. Midi, midi, uh, uh. Hey, hey, quit your con. Who are you two? Come on, wake up. What do you think? We're bandits. Bandits. And what do bandits do? Take stuff, like your fancy ring there. Give it. Oh. Oh? Uh, oh? That's all? You're in trouble. Really in it. Right now. In it and surrounded by it. We've got monsters. Big fans of ours. These two and way more. <laughs> <laughs> so, we asked nicely, but you had to make us mad. Now, we'll do this our way. But Twin they do, like, bandits in the desert. Corrupted. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a bonfire. That's got to be her. What were those strange sounds? Tamara and her friends singing. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. People call them the racket of Solm for a reason. Where did they stop? An attack, you think? <laughs> Let's get over there and find out. Let's get it. Tamara! Oh, hey, Fagato. So you're Princess Tamara. Nice to meet you. Don't tell me. You're the Divine Dragon, right? No surprise. Fagato wouldn't yeah. have come here unless he found you first. <laughs> he wouldn't have... what? Uh, not important. <laughs> We've got bigger stakes to roast. Have to deal with these bandits for a start. It'd really help if you could use your summoning powers on this ring. The Ring of the Radiant Hero. I've always wanted to meet the person who lives in here. Can you make that happen? All right. Great. And a one, and a two. Fight on. Emblem of Radiance. Yes, give me the big man. Let's get it. Big fella coming through. <laughs> Watch out. It's a truck. It's a dump truck. Dang, those Whoa. arms. You're ready to fight. I'm Ike. Make sure you use me wisely. Thanks for your help, Ike. You'll be fighting alongside Princess Tamara in this battle. She sure will. Or he sure will. They sure will. Forced on the Tamara. That's fair, though. That's fair. Uh-huh. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. We'll see. Yeah, no. I mean, she's a pretty fitting candidate for him on this map, right? So Yeah, hopefully. I didn't take too close of a look yet at exactly what we'll be facing, partially because I saw it's Fog of War. So I need to pack some torches for that, actually. Oh, yeah, no. All right. Let's me load the prepped save. Because uh, I bet this is going to be one hell of a fight. But we do have thieves. We do have torches. We do have an Illume staff. We need to find our way. Fire emblem. Engage. Especially because like you can't move through fog in this in this in this game, right? So or can you can move correct. through it as long as you're not on it? You cannot move into fog or do like you, you can't like obstruct into fog. You can't do like anything into fog. Basically. Oh no! Uh, it's just like me for real. Oh no! All right. Um, let's take a look first. So 
If this is all fog, then I guess our movement turn one is really limited. Unless I light it all up with a torch turn one. That might be what I'll do. Because I also want to know what I'm up against, just like the last fog of war map. So I saw the goal is to, I think, kill both bosses. I don't remember if I saw them already. Uh, I think they're over yeah, here. Yeah, they're both down here. Yeah. Tachi Talk and Tachi. Yeah. <laughs> Bandit twins in a desert chapter. This game knows its references sometimes. Oh, yeah, no. And I see a bunch of, like, a same, similar mix to like last chapter. Just a bunch of promoted slash unpromoted enemies. With, like, all kinds of different weapon types. Mostly axes, I guess. And some some flyeries people over here. That would be interesting. So, uh, for units, I brought uh, the usual Chloe, because I think she's, like, a mainstay. ATA, because I feel bad for ditching her. I need to promote her. In fact, we need to promote three units now. Uh, That's right, you sent me a note about that last yeah. night. <laughs> <So>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same for Ivy. Uh, Zelkov cannot promote, but we need a thief for the fog, I think. And plus, he's like, I want to use Yunaka, but as long as I don't have my teleporting gimmick, it's hard to justify. And also, his stats are just so much better than Yunaka's. He has like five more strength. It's kind of unfair. It's yeah. Kind of like, Yunaka has like better res. Yeah. I think, but like, whoa, what a, what a thrill. <laughs> Copium. Res is good, I, I guess, know. if you're never getting hit by non-magical attacks, but other than that, I'm th I think I'll take the five strength advantage that Zelkov brings right now. Plus, like, yeah, for sure. Yunaka has the 10 of Void inherited from Marth, but he just has it on him as a All personal skill. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he's, like, attacking someone in melee on player phase for some reason, in which case, like, oh, oh yeah. okay, guys. Yeah, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll let you have that one, Yunaka, okay? I want to bring Saline because, uh, I mean, I want to use ATA's meal. <laughs> That's for <really amazing. laughs> I want to use her. And as a rework, I have a rework staff. I want to try and use that as well. And then Luis oh, yes. hasn't been on the field in a while. I want to promote him as well. Uh, so I guess we should do that first. So uh, change class time. Uh, ATA should have been last chapter. This happened really. It's sniping time. Boy. Still got the lindering on her. And uh, I Smaller. made her inherit some speed as well. So maybe we'll see some more double attacking from her. Maybe. Let's get it. We got Speed Taker as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you you remember to equip the speed, right? I think so. That sounds good. That's a pretty good outfit. Holy crap. Yeah, like it's that. pretty good looking. Pretty good. Let me double check that skill thing because it seems easy to forget. All right. Manage she's got skills. Yeah, yeah, she's got speed on her and she got Speed Taker. I think this is only if she's synced, right? Because it's a sync skill. So. Yeah, that's. While, while, while she's synced, she has it. Yeah, so every time she kills someone while she's engaged. Or uh, while she's right. synced, I should say. Yeah, when she's synced, uh, I just get plus two speed, basically. Uh, yeah, synced is... So she's currently synced. As long as she has the mm -hmm. range, she's synced. Yeah. So just kill things with ATA whenever possible to get massive speed advantage. Got it. Yeah, All get right. big speed. Yeah. And then uh, I haven't class changed her for some reason. I guess it was like kind of taking her for a spin. Uh, I'm going to go with the flying class because it kind of seems part of her identity and also it just seems really good to have. Like the stats are just better too. But let me oh, see yeah, yeah. Grasping Void for a second. When attacking with a Tome, unit may deal extra damage is half of unit's mag. Okay, so like about 10 extra damage probably at that point. Trigger is Dexterity. Okay, that's not great, but we'll, we'll, we'll make do. It's sort of like Savage Blow, but proc based instead. Yeah, I mean, I guess like there's a world where she attacks and it's like a few points of damage short, right? So. Mm hmm. Lindworm. Ah, yeah. Let's go. More move especially is nice. It's kind of weird to have her fly around last chapter with like five move of flight. It's kind of strange. Yeah, no. I, I felt like I have a three move <laughs> after using all these promoted units for so long. Yeah. And then Louise. So thanks to your foresight, I was able to give him access from Leaf before he left. Uh, the thing I was wondering about, we could make him an axe general because I think that was what you were going for. But I'm looking at Great Knight and I'm seeing um, plus two move, which is a huge advantage. If, notice, if the stats are like... It sounds slightly worse, but move seems huge in this. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. the primary advantage to staying general, if you desire, uh, is that you are unbreakable by mm. weapon triangle effects. Whereas if you're in Great Knight, you know, obviously you still have pretty much the same stats as general, frankly, uh, and as well as the plus two move, but you can be broken. Now, you have weapon triangle, so, or rather you have two weapon types, so you do have like a little bit more control over whether or not you get broken. Uh, but... I think ultimately the choice is up to you. I'm kind of curious to see what you value here, knowing these two, knowing yeah. these two things. One of the reasons it was easy for me to bench Louise for a couple chapters is because of the low movement. I feel like as a general, he just wouldn't get into action very much. Um, and then what's the use of not being broken if you never get to combat? So I'm curious if Great Knight will work out. I'm kind of tempted to go for that. Because as you said, you have some control over Weapon Triangle too. 
So you can just not put him in range of things that will break him. At this point in the game, I haven't found enemies breaking me to be too big of a problem. So I think I'll try Great Knight and see how it works. Pretty clever. I'm curious to see how this works out. This, are you still using him at this point? You're like, what, chapter 20 or something at this point? Oh, I've been, I benched him a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I, in theory, I think he's worth benching instead of repeatedly investing into him. But at the same time, you know, feels bad. And yeah, uh, I mean, that's just a lot of how I enjoy by playing these games as well. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, you're definitely not the first one I've heard of doing that. All right, so now we have that. I should probably give him AAE Axe of some sorts to utilize this. I didn't see a whole lot of horse riders, so I'm going to try and bench him to see if I can get away with that. And I'll get like a kill axe or something, or a great axe. It doesn't really matter. They're, I guess they're all pretty good on him because he doesn't get... It doesn't really matter if he gets weighed down a ton. We'll see how it works out. All That's right. true. Was uh, Bunei holding anything that he may have wanted? or Because um, the, the killer lance kind of sucks too. If you ever checked the killer lance stats, I think kind of... Yeah, you need to forge it, I think, before be it gets good. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I could get like the... I don't have many other good weapons yet. Uh, I guess I can yeah, try like a silver uh, axe, maybe. I yeah, I can get the silver axe from Brunei. It's really a shame, like how many people just have to bench in this game, but I can see why it is the way it is. Okay, with that out of the way, I need to grab torches for people. Uh, Zelkov, does this efficiency range increase with torches? I forgot. Yes. Okay, so, so. just like GBA then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take that torch, and I think I want like the Lumine. I wonder who has like really space for it, because I kind of want all these people to have all their things. Uh, I guess I might not need Elfire here. I guess I'll try this. Uh, bring the Illume. Thank you. That should be all we need. I guess I'll put another torch on someone. I gave him the Leaven Sword so that he can finally provide ranged supports. That might also be useful with Lucinas and everything. Yeah, that's really useful, actually. <laughs> a Lear with the Leaven Sword is quite an upgrade, I gotta say. Yeah, we'll see how exactly how big it is. Uh, I'll bench this, uh, this Iron Blade for a second, bring one more torch, and then I think we'll be good to go. Torchin here. Uh, yeah, my opinion is kind of hard to like underbring torches to the fog of war map ever, right? Like, I mean, it, it, it gives you vision. That's your key resource. Mm -hmm. well, it's better to bring too many than too little anyway. So even if I brought too many, it's not a big issue. Oh okay. yeah. Okay, sure. I'll just start the map and see where we go. We also have some units to go over real briefly. What's that? More? Those cheap, cheap birds must have gone con for help. Phooey! That's what I say. They won't beat our monsters. That's right. Not to mention our thieves. Experts in the yard of Rant Zachary. <laughs> They're gonna attack the village. We have to stop them before anybody gets hurt. Marin, Pennant, come on! As you command, my princess. We'll crush them with the hammer of justice. Indeed, they shall sorely regret terrorizing these poor, innocent people. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're going there. Okay, that's that's unexpected, but sure. Handy, I guess, yeah. Yeah. I mean, works. I guess they'll, they'll scout a little more for me. All right, get let me a take a look move. at these. Uh, what are we saying? Yeah, just to get a free move, yeah. But yeah. Let, let's look. This is more important. <laughs> it sure is important. So, uh, Tamara and Ike in one package. Uh, a Sentinel, which I'm, I think it's like a spear fighter, right? Unpromoted class. With some uh, some yes, standard warning. lances. Uh, Racket of Psalm, quite minus five on foes within three spaces. Seems like kind of whatever. I guess sometimes it'll make a difference without you noticing it. It's kind of okay, but nothing too massive. Demolish is like very interesting because I'm assuming it's mostly meant to be useful in this chapter. You break destructible terrain in a single blow when using destroy. And I saw that this map has. A lot of destructible terrain on it. Um, I think, like, yeah, this stuff, this this junk over here, you can just, like, take that away and I guess you can move more freely if you do that. That's the idea. It's kind of like snow shoveling from the rev map, except better, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, there's a there's a lot of that junk on this map for sure. So. <laughs> okay, and then Resolve. If their HP is 75% or less after combat, you get five defense rests as long as the unit's HP stays below 75%. Okay, so kind of like a... Similar-ish version to Radiant Dawn, except different. I don't know. It, it's like it's obviously meant to be a reference to the old Resolve, but it makes you more bulky when you're lower on HP. I guess that's good if you already have a bunch of defense. It just doesn't let yeah, you but, double or anything like the old Resolve did, which would have been good. True. But yeah, it's, it's I mean, the, the old Resolve 
made you like more defensive in a way, right? This one's kind of making you more defensive in a very like consistent and straightforward manner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if someone like Louise could be really tanky with this, like even more tanky, especially because he gets res as well. Or like Jade maybe could be really using this well. And then Lagoo's friend, he takes fifty percent less damage, but sets up uses of void to zero. Yeah. <laughs> That is, wait, is that always effect, in effect when you're engaged? Wow. That's yeah, hilarious. as long as you're engaged, you have this. So. Oh, that is really tanky. I mean, obviously you're not dodging anything, so it's only like a certain type of unit, but yeah, that's pretty good. Hmm, Great Ether. This one is very interesting. Use it to grant death res plus five. So it takes up an action, right? And then you can't counter for a turn. So this is like two that's massive right. drawbacks already. But then you attack a two space area, healing HP equal to 30% of damage dealt, Sword Axe only. Is that good? It seems like hard to use at the very least. Yeah, it's a it, it's a bit tricky to set up. And I think, I, I think to be honest, like this map is a pretty poor demonstration of all the features except the Demolish one. So, and it being stuck on kind of like a four move unit is uh, not, not, not exactly ideal. Because with, with great ether as well, it's kind of nice to pack a big heap of enemies around you and then just kind of like survive a million gazillion attacks then hit them all for like a million gazillion damage back right oh yeah because they deal a bunch it's of hp then you fight the them back yeah oh that does seem like really interesting yeah yes. oh i see now what it is okay that is interesting for sure i'm gonna try to make use of that because uh i've heard good things about ike let me see marin real quick a knightly escort. <laughs> oh, another one of these. When two or more female allies are within two spaces, grants hit avoid plus five to unit and those allies. Hmm, that doesn't seem super great. <laughs> but the rest of the stats look pretty good like... for like a no resource unit, so I don't I don't have a problem with a bad personal skill. Yeah, kind of. I mean like it, it gives you it gives you hit and avoid, and I, I I'm generally a proponent that anything that gives you hit and avoid is usually good since it helps you in like literally every combat. Basically, but yeah, it, it's like it's okay. I don't think it's Racket of Solm for sure, but yeah. I will say Marin's super cool, man. Look at her. Mm hmm. She's oh. so cool. Oh, I didn't realize it was a woman. I guess her voice was kind of feminine. Fair enough. All Fair right. enough. Let's see. Uh, Panette. Uh, speaking of designs, I can't get into Perrin's face. Like, I. The, I don't know if it's makeup or if it's actual scar sticks through her mouth, but it makes her look a bit like a puppet, which I think is like intentional. But I just, it looks kind of gross to me personally. I know it's not meant to be gross, but it kind of has that effect on me. So I probably won't be using Annette or Panette, but I do like the Berserker class. Mm -hmm. And Blood Fury, if unit's HP is not at max after combat, after combat grants 2 plus 10 as long as unit's HP stays below max. Um, this, uh, okay. this kind of funny wording is basically just to say that like this you can't get this like during the middle of a combat mm. you know it basically works the same as for example bernadetta's persecution complex and other such abilities where like you know if bernadetta gets injured in combat she doesn't suddenly have plus five damage for the rest of the combat she needs to start a new one in order to get the boost and it's kind of the same with ike's great ether yeah or with ike's resolve rather it's just worded it's worded very strangely yeah i would usually it would say like if they're not at max at the start of combat or something like that that'd be logical i think um, oh well, doesn't matter. Either way, it's a pretty funny ability. Crit stacking should be funny with this. Uh, pretty lopsided yeah, yeah, stats. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, what's her speed normally? When you don't weigh yourself down by a million. Okay, 13. That's honestly not enough to double, but her strength is massive, so maybe we can get some work with her. Yeah, let's no, see. it's tons. <laughs> we didn't really take a good look at Marin's stats, mm -hmm. and I don't know, because also I think this is the first Wolf Knight you've ever had in the series yeah. ever, right? So. It's kind of like I, I've had really positive experiences with Marin, but I don't know if that's because you know her stats are good or because Wolf Knight's good. So <laughs> could be both, it's right? Be one of those things. <laughs> yeah, could be. It... Yeah, I don't think Marin wants to go up necessarily against these twenty attack. Maybe he does. Yeah, he's he's all right against those. He could bait them if he wanted to. Uh, they were talking about that village. Is there another village that I gotta save, or just this one? I guess. That's pretty far out, damn. It's a big map. All right, let's see what we can get done here. I'm gonna start with the torching. Give me a target. Go. <laughs> All right, this is your target. There you go. Oh, there's a lot of people here. All right, good to oh. know. Hello. Hello there. All right, Louise, time to carry this out the first so duties. Uh, As great night, Louis. Yay. Okay, I'll just tip from range to get the most out of his movement, I guess. Louise doesn't have to be afraid of being in any range. 
into these. Oh, he's like so accurate too. Did you forge that or no? Uh, the javelin? Uh, no, yeah, this one is what? not. Uh, he has plus ten hit though from uh, Sigurd. So oh, that, that makes sense. Why. Okay, fair enough. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. So now he's in range of an axe and a sword. So I guess there's no way to prevent him from getting broken right now. But yeah, whatever. It's fine. Uh, so this is still crappy. What if I if I go from range, the damage is no different, right? Oh come on. I guess if I if I engage and I get the the, the attack from Louise as well. If I move like I'm one ready. other person here, but then they, they might as well attack, so it doesn't really help anything. Uh, what if I? Yeah, at that point you just have it. Yeah. I'll switch into silver. And then try to kill the sword guy or block him off from uh, my guy. Um, gonna have to go with this then. I, I guess you're just not in the mood to like backtrack with Marin or any of these guys to kill the sword master. Kind of want to go forward with them. Yeah, I would not want to, but I think I'm almost out of moves to make with them. Plus, I gotta keep in mind. Uh, the flyers are not that big of a bother, actually. Yeah, I put these a little far back because I thought they might have an easier time catching up. Maybe they should go through here. Gotta keep in mind that there's a flyer here, too. I feel like I should push through here. I'm not sure why, because I don't see any objectives this side. Oh, there's one village here. I should I should definitely go there, then. Okay, we're splitting yeah, up a little even, bit. Yeah, like, but even Tamara's group can kind of like push south and just end up that way on accident, right? So... Yeah, maybe I should. Let's see. Do you kill here? He oh, kills that one. Golly, <laughs> Marin, good? Question mark. She's so good. What the hell? All right, I'm killing this one because he's in range of two axe users that I have up right now. You were a worthy opponent. All right, yeah, Marion seems really good. Nice wolf too. Very cute. Yeah. Verily. Verily. Okay. Fair enough. Um, that's not super risky. You oh there we go. Oh right. <laughs> the tutorial. Yeah. The way forward is blocked, but not for long. Oh, it's... Go, Tamara. With my strength, you'll have no problem opening up a path. I don't know about that. Emblemike. Oh right, we're gonna go over his thing. His robust offense and endurance take increases he takes damage. The sync skill resolve increases defense and resistance as HP decreases. Engage open hammer can smash foes and deal bonus damage to armored ones. Engage skill the goose friend halves incoming damage but produces a void rate. We kind of went over this earlier, so I'm going through it kind of fast. And the engage attack great ether hardens the unit's defenses for one turn but then attacks an area and recovers HP. That sure is interesting. I wonder how urgent is it to get, like help out with the cleanup over here? Because I think that this one doesn't really do that much to anyone, right? It's like 31 to the most like 17. It'll be okay. Yeah, he gets broken, but whatever. In, so. Maybe we should go down here. Wouldn't miss it. Destroy. Yeah, you just, like, lose a bunch of HP, oh no. <laughs> You'll be fine. Demolish. Demolish. Let's get down to business. I do kind of want to hit that guy, because it seems so safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I want to try it out. It's fair, thing. <laughs> Got him? I guess it's not that safe, because it's, like, 29% to actually get hit. Like, an actual 29%, but I can't help myself. Like, yeah, I... I guess there was like a world where you just got like triple stacked out and yeah. wrecked a bit. Mm -hmm. I can rewarp Saline all the way down here already because uh, I, I got that on, or like pretty far at least. Yes. Let's see how far. I'm assuming she has to like move full though to before yeah. rewarp is used. You get to move. Yeah. Uh, Saint MP5 mechas. So. Yeah. Okay, I guess I can't get very far. Maybe if I go like down to the left side. Should probably have had a different deployment slot then if I'm going here. We can get her stuck here for a turn. <laughs> Put her in the box. <laughs> yeah. In the bad box. Okay, I think Rewarp might not be the play here. I could put her in the forest, I guess. Yeah, that might be the best course of action here. Gotta use that Rewarp staff. Let's see how this works out. Mm -hmm. Yeet. Big moves, big moves. Alright, now we'll help her out with some uh, personal skills. Don't know if I want to engage yet or not. Alright. Flyers, do I want to like, do I, do I like Lucina chain guard against these guys or? Yeah, know? I guess I could have taken her action, couldn't I? Well, mm -hmm. we'll see if it, if it mattered. It's definitely something I can definitely do if I screw it up here. Uh, let's see if we can destroy this, but it needs more damage. I guess I'll just destroy no more units. Yeah, uh, she has a torch, right? I guess I'll use it. The illume. Oui. Illume. Alright, I really wish I inherited like Cantor with her. It would have been so nice here. 
Uh, oh, okay. what trash. Let's get it. There we go. Never mind. That's you good. It. You got it. Destruction. I thought you were just like, I thought you were just like one short with every option. I'm like, <laughs> Mecca, no. Uh, if I destroy, I think I don't even destroy this whole thing anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's go down here. And if ATA needs to help out with other parts, we can always engage and just like start firing there. Remember there, I was about to ask, like, can you Astro Storm a barrier or no? Oh, what if I destroyed... I wonder if I get the, the Speed Taker from destroying a, a thing. Ooh. Get going! Get going! Yeah, no. start at that house there. No, don't. No, not my house. Bruh. Let's go! How'd you not get that village, Mecca? I think you're just a noob. <laughs> did you get that house? Yeah, everyone did. Come on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> It's kind of uh, late in the game to do a house getting tutorial, but okay. Get back. This will hurt. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, golly, nice. I love that crit. Nice. Yeah, that was a savage crit. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, now break me. Do it. Oh, you won't? Oh, oh you're yeah, gonna break her instead. That's fine. Get broken. What is oh, all these movements axe. over there? That's scary. Mystery units in the fog of war. Yeah. Alright, is it time for the massive upgrade? Uh, you're not gonna have good hit with this, are you? No, not at all. Okay, I, I mean... Are you Covert? No, it's a backup dude. Not worried about that then. Um, but he's still on terrain, so maybe... Some saline? Gosh, this guy is gonna be annoying to take out. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's a good start. And you're near a backup already. Mm hmm. Yeah, that'll help a bit. It's nice that a backup is uh, set at 80%, right? So that's kind of nice. Yeah, always the 80%. And always the 10% rendered down. That is not bad. So Louis? Uh, he's also a backup. I guess I could have removed him first as well. But it's fine. Just use something accurate. But something that works too. Ooh, might have to be. I kind of want to use this sword because of that flyer over here. Yeah, I'm kind of like curious to think about. Oh, or actually, this is the best move. I was like, oh, which is better, using the sword or using the axe? And then also, it's like, I'll just like move a leader here first. I'm pretty sure that's the best way. Yeah, this should work. Get him a leader. Nice. Why not? Yeah, now, now the sword is like clearly better. Mm hmm. That chain attack will kill, so we don't have to worry about anything here. Alright. And like a billion shots there. Nice. Okay, now we clearly gotta heal her. But she has a Vuln on her, so I guess she could do it herself. <laughs> Let's see. This is a big barbarian with 44 attack. Hmm. I suppose I could like engage and then destroy stuff here. Is this destructible? Yeah, this is also junk. I could like try and see if she survives this place here. It's just sand. If she engages, she gets 22 defense. Which means these guys barely touch her anyway. Oh, this guy's kind of strong. What the heck? Yeah, she got her promoted. Mm -hmm. Still great axe, though, so. If gonna... you're bold enough yeah. to one round on the counter. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This is not even in range of anything. I shouldn't do that. What if I go here? Maybe she should just like keep going forward, maybe. Wait, by forward, you mean like downwards? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Uh, there's nothing here. Uh, destroy... I want to destroy the right. So the fastest path down is through here and then right. Mm, I wonder. Can I destroy Ow. more? Mm, not really. Uh, wait, not I can to the hand next. Wait, there is. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can do this. I can use Marin to destroy one more. And then she might be able to go... I don't think she can go far enough with four move. One, two, three... I guess she could destroy down with a Javi from like this. Yeah, that could work. Okay, so if we use Marin to destroy this part, then we should be fine. To have yeah, some and we're actually system. blowing off Panette as well, so. Yeah, not that Panette is in range of anything anyway, right? Because there's nothing here, as far as I can tell anyway. Maybe there is. Yeah, if there, if there was, then we're still like blowing her off. So the, the area is pretty hard to fly around, even for flyers. Like, even Ivy's kind of having some difficulty yeah, like, here. Yeah, so. like, I can't fly over all this crap here. Okay. But, yeah, I just can't pass over these. Okay, I didn't realize that at first. So that actually makes it a lot more difficult to get around here. I thought my flyers would easily catch up to everyone by now, but uh, suppose not. Uh, well, we know Chloe can one round these things, and I'm assuming these two will be enough to kill that Lone Axe fighter over here. So let's just do this. 
get some bond fragments out of it too. All right, I want to get some speed taker off of this guy. Wait, what? Holy Let's crap! Let's get it, Golly, dude. Let's get it. Uh, what we, on earth? Maybe if we thunder, we don't even take counter attack here. Yeah, or you could just heal after even. Oh, that might be better actually. Thunder. Yeah, that, I like that better because that puts her in a formal forward position. Okay, let's get it. Let's go. ATA moments. Speed taker. Yeah. Looks like I broke him. <laughs> does she? Does she even need the speed taker? Look at that. He's already doubling. Uh. Well. You can always use more speed, right? It's more avoid. That's fair enough. All right. Let's uh, get in there and uh, fix her up. I can fix her. We can fix her. She doesn't need fixing. She's Etsy. You need fixing, if anything. <laughs> oh, hello there. That's not good. Oh. Oh. Well, it's time for dodging, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just dodge them up. <laughs> it's dodging time. All right. I wonder if this crew should be enough, in theory, to take care of that part. I'm going to help these guys out instead. Go over here. And you were going to destroy uh, here. Destruction. Goodbye. This is a weird skill. I wonder if it's going to come in handy at all after this. And Zelkov. I should move him first. He has like a bunch of vision. Let's go. I'm not sure where he should go. I think I can go here. Yeah, that score's like kind of closer to everything. Yeah, it's just. The, I think it gives us vision on Red Elephant's house. Well, we'll see. Oh, she does not live. Aww. That's a Hondo hit. That's a Hondo hit. Perfect. What the hell? Damn it. Rip. Rip my Royal Queen. And who this? Oh, that's also a kill. Well, there were many problems with this turn. Evidently, yeah, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second. My units are dying. Well, Demon's alright, fair enough. Yeah. I guess we can go on, right? Yeah, look on the bright side. <laughs> yeah. Glass half, half full kind of thing. Okay. It's uh, rewind time. Roots. Uh, we can play your phase, leader, attack, diamonds. Okay. I think this is where things started going wrong because I moved a net here. So maybe. Yeah. This? All this so far is pretty good. Mm. Yeah, I guess I can't just destroy as much as I'd like to. Uh, I think it's still okay to like destroy some things here. Just like, don't bring Penet down here, I guess. Or... Yeah, or just heal her. Uh, equip a hand axe, maybe? Because mm -hmm. I don't think she dies in one round if she's healed herself. There is a stronger healing item on Marin if you want. Oh, suppose I could use his elixir, yeah. I'm a big fan of using elixirs on like someone who's only a temp, but might have to go for it. Okay, and hoarding elixirs, Mecha. Who are you? What have you done with the real Mecha? I even got one from that uh, wyvern little mini game. Oh no! All right, equip that and heal. All right, it's value, I guess. Um, so I guess. This is a hand axe, dude, but the, the problem was the bow guy that came afterwards. I guess we just have to expose ATA to them, and that's it. What if it. you, like, summon the doubles? Oh, the the Lin doubles. And then mm -hmm. have them take the hit, hopefully? And then... That would that would draw the sniper out. So, like, the advantage of doing that as opposed to, like, attacking is essentially that you do break down the barrier, and then with the doubles out, you kind of, like, block the move, as well as, like, you know, baiting them to attack. Like, sure. Probably the Let's run together. best way to do it, maybe, would be like break the barrier. And then with her two north of the fighter, you could call the doubles. Oh, so break the barrier with the flyers? Yeah, and then two south and call the doubles. I see. Let's try that. Destruction. I think I need. Oh, never mind. I only need one. Alright, so it was like a normal bow, right? Not a long bow, so we. Yeah, this is a normal. Bow. Okay, so we go like two south, like I said, and uh, engage Arino. Engage Arino. Thank you. Call the doubles. Hello there. Do you get more if you're like not, if you don't have a bunch of space occupied around you? Yeah, you get, uh, and so all four of the squares if you can. Hmm. Nice. Okay then. Let's see how that works out. Uh, I don't want to destroy here because then I put myself in range again. Although I'm assuming they're going to target the yeah, doubles anyway. Yeah. Alright. So one HP doubles. Yeah, they kind of got that like FE8 Phantom AI. Okay. Let's see how that goes then. Dun, dun, dun. And uh, you didn't get wrecked by it in this map like I did, but uh, you also cannot call doubles onto Fog of War squares. So. Oh. 
<laughs> that is pretty bad. Wait, is it space free now? No, it's not. Okay, good. Okay, fine. We're fine. Unbelievable. 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 <laughs> and here is Panef getting longboard again with much less disastrous results. All right, all right. And it, and it looks like the doubles didn't really do much, but it did let you like break the barrier and get further forward. Yeah. Now all these enemies are in my attack and range, and there's still one double remaining. That is the AI controlled. Did it do anything? So the the doubles are. So the way that they work is that they're just a guy for you. You can't move them, but anytime Etia attacks, she gets the chain attack from the double, no matter where. <laughs> Oh, you can also get rid of them if you want to, I guess. Okay, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess you better focus on the bow guy. I think I'm not killing here. What the heck? No, I wanted to kill you. It's, to be fair, it is a sniper, so... Oh, uh, yeah, that is fair. Uh, can you kill Eider? Mm, she can kill the axe guy. So I guess we could finish with ATA to take his speed after Chloe hits him. That seems good here, yeah. Yeah, I'm, ass I'm assuming that village is not as urgent. Can we just one heart with OT either way? Yeah, we can. Nice. Okay, let's let's save some time then. Also, it's not super relevant, but you can like y you can warp the doubles or like swap the doubles. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That's super relevant. That's true. Speed taker. When you want a long range phantom summon. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not a backup, right? You're still covert, so this is not gonna matter. Okay, so we. Finish this guy with these two. I don't know if this is like dangerous. I don't think it is. Just break oh, more things you next could, turn. You can not attack with Ivy, then he's forced to attack Etia. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but uh, the speed tech only works on player face, right? So it yeah, wouldn't, that's be, that, true. wouldn't be that great. It'd just be kind of ah, cool. Not that profitable after all. Uh -huh. Not as much stonks as I was hoping for. All right, let's get it. Excellent. Okay, so you're just stuck here forever. Okay. Until someone, some death do us part. Uh, maybe he would have been helpful over here. Well, good thing we have more move than before. This is a kill thanks to all the dual strikes. I think I like this. Not bad. Here we, go. we need a plan for the wyverns at some point, but... Yeah, I did. the plan might just be like this lot staying behind, though, to be honest. Because right? it just be Zelkov stays here and everyone else moves forward or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> see, that guy doesn't reach anything yet, so I'm not super worried. Um, I think if we move Diamond, it doesn't matter. Either way, we lose one dual strike, but mm -hmm. we get... Oh, you have a silver sword, that's right. He's not super threatening, is he? Like, what if we just kind of ran away from him and, like, left Zelkov? Might be fine. As long as Zelkov is in the A4 or somewhere, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, he can't. It's not like he can hurt Louise. Okay, that's fair. Because they they probably need to help more than we do. All right, that's fair. Uh, we can rework forward again. Uh, we can even go here if we want to be really risky. It's gonna be a 70 to hit though. Does she one round him? Because he has the great weapon of 24 magic. I don't think she does. But she almost does. <laughs> she also almost gets one of killed by. But that's that's details. <laughs> details. Let's details. See. Uh, I'm going to do that last, because it's a riskier move. Uh, I'm going to move you down. Get the village, I guess. Uh, what's that? The bandits? Oh, jeez. I'd rather you get a hold of this than they do. Hey, more durability. Appreciate that. Um, Another stat booster to hoard. No, no, no. I use my stat boosters most of the time. Oh, trust, true, true. trust, trust. Just don't, don't up a convoy. Prove it. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get anywhere with Rewarp. Uh, so close. I guess we can go here. If we can range up the Wyverns, though, it's kind of scary. Uh, mm, can not? Sus. Yeah, a little sus. I'm just really trying to make use of this Rewarp here, but it's not giving me a lot of opportunities. Uh, I mean, we can try it, I guess. Okay, if I'm doing that, let me see what I'm doing with these first. Because this is probably pretty set. Uh, we're mm -hmm. probably going to destroy some shit over here. It must have destroyed that Axe Fighter will want to fight someone that... I hope that's Marin. Or it's either be Marin or Saline. Okay, so if we're doing that's that... Right. Is this a sniper with a longbow or is it an archer with a longbow? Sniper. Kind of curious, like... Cool, gross. Uh, yeah, I think... Might take these two alone to kill him. 
Maybe we should just kill him first and not worry about the left side for a moment. Mm, yeah, guess we'll do that. Demolish. I need to use Ike, but like I haven't found the opportunity. Like, did you have the same problem where like this map is just like very hard to use him in? Besides like destroying stuff. Yeah. Cause, you know, great, great ether. I kinda wanna like get in some big wide open terrain with a million enemies, and this is like, you know, fighting two or three guys in a narrow city street. It's, it's kinda harder to take advantage of here on this map. Retribution is due. She knows who killed her last time. <laughs> I know. Allow me. Oh, you have dual assist on a leader? Let's go. Yeah. Let's see, that was right there. Alright, I need to use my engages more, but I, I just can't find a utility for them besides, like, the stuff that always works, basically. Okay, so there's it's actually a... kind of curious that dual assist proc'd right there on that sniper. I didn't think it would. Yeah. Because it said whom you can reach by moving, and I guess in my mind, oh, I yeah. thought, oh, it can't. Like, in my mind, I thought, oh, it can't proc because Tamara and Panette are, like, occupying the only squares from which you can dual assist. But I guess the game just doesn't care about that. It's like, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> you could, theoretically. That is weird. Okay, let's see if she survives being on that forest over there. Uh, not heal. Rewarp. Uh, yeah, just, just go ahead. Fight here. It'll be fine, Celine. Trust. You've survived these situations before. If it doesn't work, easy just rewind. Trust, yeah. All right. The leaves They don't call you Celine Wyvern Breaker for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Who calls her that? All right, how much hit? Zero. Uh, me. No. <laughs> Big fat zero. Nice one. Who's next? Hello, Mr. Wyvern. Yeah. All right. So you have top. chosen death. Yes. Ah. Uh, hello there. Now one round. I won, my princess. She is so good. Hello there. Hey, actual hit All chance. Alright, here's the 14%. test. 14%. Oh. Here goes okay. nothing. Chain attack? Okay, good. <laughs> All good. All good. Yeah. I think I think that the wind is on um, Ivy, fortunately. Okay. Maybe this yeah, wasn't so great. Stinks, but here we are. Yeah, maybe this wasn't so great because now these would have just gone for Zelkov or something. But then again, they could probably go anywhere they want, so it might have been fine to do this. Uh, so I guess now we ideally want to go here to distract this guy. I'm not sure what's raiding the mm -hmm. villages. Is it? Is it that guy? Sword yeah, there's no. that ruffian. Uh, uh, just west of that swordmaster, it's like a ruffian with an axe. This guy. Yeah, a little bit further down. This guy. That guy, yeah. Oh, and he's going there. Well, good luck to him. <laughs> he's not making that. Yeah, no. I think we're, I think we're gonna get there first. <laughs> <laughs> the games are on. You can't destroy this. Mm, could you Zelkov into Saline, or is that just not doing enough damage? Well, Zelkov is 26 and poison, so that's 10 damage. I think that would be enough to kill this one guy. I think so. Yeah. That's well, kind of up there. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll move the ammo back here. We'll just get a nice... We'll, we'll, we'll get a lucky uh, duel assist from Alir. That's what's going to happen. Probably. He reaches with 11 sword, I guess. All right. Uh, let's move you, like... Here, I guess, for now, because we need to make space for Zelkov to do this. He'll probably, he'll probably attract some attention from a flyer here. Oh, he doesn't double, so he's only doing 21. I think that means Sailing doesn't kill. She doesn't double either. Hmm. Just 22. Wait, why should she do so much damage? Oh, this is a, this is a Pegasus That's... kind of guy, right? Yeah, is the it? other one. She just, she just, she doesn't double this one. Oh wait, for some reason. Oh, that's so... that's why. Yeah, so silvers are kind of heavy in this game. They're heavier than steels. Hmm. I don't. I just never like. There's no reason. No way he does more damage. But I guess. Uh, let me check how much this would do. Uh, nothing. Okay. I was like, oh, he only has a, that. His engaged attack only works on adjacent allies, doesn't it? Yeah. Cringe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you can't offer one from two range with 11 sword. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's would save me a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah, I think this is an area where uh, having her or someone else with Ike would have been really good. But unfortunately, that is not what happened here. Well, I guess we got to chew through me eventually. So I guess let's just attack him at range and hope for the best then. Right, he's got to die eventually. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think there's no point in attacking with Zelkov then, because it moves him off terrain and makes him vulnerable. So just kind of keep him here, chilling, and then Louise. There's no way he's going to attack Louise, but might as well keep him out of range. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to turn out well, but it's just something I'm trying. It's probably faster than like trying to do something. You okay? Ooh, Razes is not okay. Who, Baron? Oh, oh you're, you're Arcane. Baron, okay. 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 I can hear you, don't worry. Can you see it? Ooh. Okay. Yes, I can see it fine. Okay, good, good, good. Hmm. Are both of these village destroyers? Oh, crap. Yeah, there's a second guy. I didn't see. Um, I, I think they are? I can bait that guy I with Marion. How do you deal block. with that? Hmm. I wonder if Marion... There's no way he can handle both, right? This is a massively powerful axe. 44 attack. Can't you? Well, she can't reach that because we're getting fog of ward right now. But yeah, we are. How, do, how does she do in like the one v one duel against the wolf knight? Is that a rare critter? Wish I knew. Uh, let's see. We have we're packing twelve defense right now, and we're not at full HP. We can we can make ourselves be at full HP though. So we're fighting that guy. Twenty six. We're taking like thirteen damage. Fourteen. They're basically the same unit, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll just like put her out there because this guy's not reaching me anyway. Like, what else can I do, right? So just go here, yeah. dagger vault. Uh, enemy wolf best. knight's like a little bit stronger right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine though. We are there's more of us than there is of him. Guess I'll destroy. Now, hopefully next turn I'll engage and be able to do something useful We're here. Baiting him. Uh, he thinks it's a one v one, but we have backup. Mhm. Mm I'll just watch out that it doesn't become a two v two with that guy. Uh, well, this this is gonna be a chain attack, right? If I put her here. With the hand axe, right? Is that how it works? Uh, not on, not not on enemy phase. So, oh. still put it there, I guess. To no wait, because the the wolf type will be at two range from her too. So I guess it doesn't really matter where she goes exactly. For now, as long as he's somewhere near. I don't know. Yeah, no, we just gotta kind of line up the one one. Does does Ivy still have the the loom staff? It doesn't look like it. Uh, she does. This is surprisingly little vision for someone who, like, illumed two turns ago or something. Yeah. It's, uh, I guess Ivy just doesn't see very well in the dark. Alright, well, I hope this is the only guy over here, but again, I guess we're, guess we're going to find out. Um, we can destroy this... in one... no, two hits. I do want to use my Astral Storm this turn, because she's going to run out. Let's see if we can put it on Ooh. anything useful. Okay, that help on the Wolf Knight? Oh, Wait a sec, what about that flyer we were struggling with a turn ago? Uh, I mean, it's eight yeah, earlier so this turn. She could definitely try. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> the world is my target. Uh, yeah, no. This is the weaker one. Yeah, we could just kill this guy, I guess. Sure. Yeah, who do you want to take out? Easy. Yeah. If I have to rewind anyway, I'm going to do this attack on him and then put the other attacks on the uh, other flyer. But for now... I'm gonna assume it's fine. If it's not fine, rewind is here. <laughs> Easy yeah, speed taker. Now it's <laughs> <laughs> nice. Easy Easiest speed, speed taker you ever got. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I guess if we put Ivy behind, uh, we can break this and then Chloe can enemy phase the sword fighter over there. That seems good to me, yeah. Because we gotta get close to the village anyhow. So annoying that we can't fly over all the rubble, but I guess that's the point of the map to not get it trivialized by flyers. That's right. Has there ever been a Fire Emblem game where flyers could fly over destructible terrain or no? I don't know. I like this. Maybe. There's always been a weird quirk where, you know, there's this whole entire fortress you can fly over, <laughs> and then this one red tile is the destructible terrain. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Zelkov stays here. Let's see how that goes. Wolf Knight goes for Wolf Knights. Noise, noise. No Dog hit care. rates. Don't care. Oh. Get vantaged on. I didn't know you put that on, Simon. Yeah. Oh, this might be a problem. Oh, she kills. What the heck? So strong. I'm sorry you had to see that. So strong. Calm down, Panette. Oh, maybe that's oh. enough. Uh, problem? Nope. No problem. <laughs> Just dodges Get the Get out of here. Easy. Get wrecked. 
Okay, calm down, girl. You're being a bit too vicious right now. This is where some dodges might have to come into play. Oh, good, though. Alright, next. This is the last one, we're probably fine. If it's not the last one, we're probably not fine. The risky rewarps coming into play. Alright, you can do that. That's fine. Goodbye. Who next? Alright, oh, you're next. Here they come. Just don't get hit. Easy. Does she need some backup, like even through a physic or what? She probably does need backup. Uh, my doorbell rang, so I'll be right back, Raisins. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have opened the door and done a couple other things in the last couple hours between recordings, but we're here now. Uh, Raisins, I think uh, I think Saline is either going to have to get lucky or just uh, rewarp out of here. That's the only two options I see, right? Because we can kill the, the right hand person. Mm -hmm. He has the most hit. Or rather, yeah, that's the one with the most hit. You can kill him. And then she survives uh, this one, because he barely does any damage. So she has to dodge this one. That's basically the gist of it, as far as I can see, right? There's nothing else to do. That's fair enough. So why don't, why don't we do that last? That way, if we have to time Crystal out, we don't have to we don't have to scroll very far. Yeah, I agree. Um, these people don't have much to do. They'll probably like go towards here, because like we can't... I don't think we can destroy anything. Actually, can we destroy this? Yeah, in that case, maybe Chloe could make it through and help out over here. Mm -hmm. She could... Uh, she just has a longbow for some reason. Maybe I've deposited does, that for some reason. Does Etsy have a torch or no? Because uh, one of these people Diamond. has a torch. Diamond has it, Chloe for sure. Aw, oh, what trash, man. <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec. He could use it, though. Yeah. Because yeah. I think what's keeping uh, Chloe and Ivy from assisting us like right now, right now, is this Fog of War barrier, right? Oh. Well, she only has six moves, so like one, two, three, four, five, six. She doesn't reach any reasonable squares, right? Even with this fog no. cleared. Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, you're right. I think they're just kind of out of commission for the most part for this turn, but we can get them closer. But the, the real biter for this turn is this group here, right? So this guy is just trivial. Like, anyone who wants to go here can kill him. Uh, Louise can kill him from here if we want him to. So we don't have to worry about attacking him. Uh, what I'm worried about is this group here. There's like this guy's 44 attacks. So he just kills like everyone at this at this health. Oh, yeah. And this wolf knight. I appreciate the wolves being in this game and everything. Like this is super cool. But damn, they're a threat. <laughs> they're a threat. And there's two of them here. So either I think we wall them off with like maybe um, what's her face Tamara and Ike engage or something. Like maybe ready for great ether. Just put them on a wall here. If we do that, I have no idea who else to put there, like maybe Marin, and then just heal him. Or we could try to kill some of them. Because uh, I know that, for example, Marin can do like almost all this guy's entire HP. If we have a Leer nearby, uh, the either a dual strike of some kind, or actually I think the, the better way to go about it would be Divine Inspiration to get make this a kill. And I feel mm -hmm. like there, there has to be something we can do with a Leer and like all the Lucina abilities that like do things, but I'm finding it hard to like keep track of all of those and what they do. And because he's not engaged yet, I can't really check right now. Do you see like yeah, any the... kind of way to utilize Lucina this turn, or do you do not think there's something? This turn, I mean, I I, I do think like the the most powerful thing from Lucina ring in my mind is kind of like the you know no tur breaking. turns a unit into a backup unit. Yeah, which she just kind of does passively. It's kind of hard for me to really see like a strong thing to do with the all for one. One thing I'm actually seeing though is uh, maybe not the Lucina ring, but rather the Ike ring. Yeah. And that's uh, maybe launching a great ether against the wolves this turn. Yeah. So, um, so what we do in that case is like go here, mm -hmm. uh, engage, and then great ether from here? Just like that's that? That's right. Yeah. And now the only issue is, you know, how do we ensure that we keep the wolves and the fighter here as opposed to, you know, finding us in some other place? And that's where, uh, actually, I think Alir's Convoy could come in handy here. So maybe that's the utility that Alir brings. Because don't we have a couple Obstruct Staffs in Convoy as well? Uh, I should have... I know I have two copies at the very least. There should be one in Convoy, yeah? Yep, there's right here. Two there we go. Even. We, have, so... we haven't used either of those. Is now maybe the time to use the Obstruct Staff and like make a wall with Tamara and Obstructs? Um... Yeah, I guess that would be a good option. I mean, is this really a choke point, though? Yeah, I guess it is. These two diagonals, yeah. Because th this mm -hmm. is fog, but 
No, actually, yeah, no, that works out. Uh, so maybe Chloe can get the Obstruct Staff if we break this thing down? Uh, yeah, true. This is, is he... also kind of like... Because I was debating the whole Fog of Wars blocking their movement thing. Like, if a Leer is able to move all the way left, then we do kind of get the Obstructs. We do got to watch the range on the Obstructs, though. Like, which tiles do we need to hit? Yeah, it's going to be one of these two diagonal tiles. That's the only way we can create a choke point here, I'm pretty sure. No, actually, it's these yeah. two. These, the, these two highlighted tiles by the, by the little things. Mm-hmm. But we yeah. also need to leave enough squares open that, like, they attack Tamara. Ah, uh, true. Well... Yeah, that's only if we want to make, can make a wall with two tiles. I think this is the only way we can use two units, or, like, an Obstruct and our, um, our Great Aether, uh, Tamara, basically. Actually, I got, I, I, I got an idea now. So what about Tamara goes uh, three south, one west? And then we Obstruct onto... Uh, Marin Square and the square like opposite to Mary, you know what I mean? We have to. Oh, I guess we have Ivy. As well. Ivy can use it as well. Yeah, but the problem is they can only get there if we break this wall. I guess we can have someone else do it. Like we can have Louise break the wall. Because mm -hmm. they have to get past this little point, right? Either, they, either someone here has to use a torch to get through the darkness. I guess yeah, the, that, I guess the could move in a direction too. I guess this is an option. Let me check the range on the yeah, obstruct. Yeah, like we could. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be a point of the obstruct range. I think Otto can check this without worrying. Okay, one to eight. That's a lot of options there. So if we wanted yeah, to make one eight. here, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's easily reachable for them at least. Because, yeah, they just need to move towards earlier and they're basically there. Okay. Yeah, in fact, actually, if we just kind of kill the guy and get some fog of war left, then we should be fine. Yeah. And we can even do that with Marin because Marin's like standing on one of the squares we want to obstruct anyway, right? Yeah, but you wanted to move Aaron elsewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, like, like here? maybe two left to... Oh, well, so so he, here's like the, the final setup I'm kind of dreaming up, right? Mm -hmm. So this square has Tamara, and then the one northeast of that has an obstruct, and the one southwest of that has an obstruct. Yeah, so these three, okay. So like, yeah, right yeah. parallel to these, uh, these two little things, okay. That's fair. So he would go here, and the obstructs go there. That's fair. Okay, we could just try to set up. We have enough rewinds there where we don't have to worry yeah. too much. Um, yeah, but Marin would have to leave all of those because Tamara needs to be in that square. Not oh, the Tamara, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tamara with the Great Aether. Mm -hmm. In fact, actually, yeah, we could just go ahead and launch it, you're right. Yeah. And so, do you use it here? Oh, there's not a dude here. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's... We have enough units good to here. Launch, yeah, good, good to launch this first. That way we, like, know mm -hmm. what the Fog of War challenge is going to be. Yep. This is an easy Oko. So okay, yeah. <laughs> we don't need her, right? So we can just do this. Thank you, Pennant. Yeah. God, her attack power is so high. I guess this also checks for more units there. There right. might be there. What do we got here? Okay, there's nothing else here as far as I can tell. But now we definitely need the obstructs to work. Alright, so you can get there. I think I guess Alir has to move there right now, but we need to make sure that both Well, I guess they can trade an obstruct death over each other, right? Oh wait. Oh I need to kill that guy with uh, Louise or something, I think, right? And then Alir moves yeah. like, past him. Yeah, with Louis or Marin or anything like that should, should be good. I'll hit him up with Louise. Maybe we'll find something else for Marin to do. I'll go first. I gotta say, I'm still not entirely sure exactly how Great Aether works, but I guess this turn would be a good demonstration. Yeah, yeah. it'd be good. Because I'm still like, these two new these engaged abilities, they take a while to get the hang off, especially these, I feel like. Okay, so Lear can move all the way there. I think we don't want him to. I think we'd rather have Alir move as close to our adversary units as possible so that his Lucina engage can possibly be used next turn. Yeah, just at the edge of range seems better. So Chloe here, yeah, that's enough. That's definitely close enough for obstruct range. And we're oh, obstruct yeah, like, easy. yeah. So Alir is going to go above or rather north of you. There's nothing for him to do really, right? Yeah, maybe Torch, I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. We could get it from Diamond, I suppose. But then Diamond is further back. I guess we can do that. That's probably fine to do though. Uh, trade this. I'll fall in Diamonds, I suppose. There you go. Go here and torch. Might as well. Nothing here. Okay, now we do the great obstruct plan. Uh, we need to free up Marin Square at some point, but I can just use the other one first. Uh, convoy. Yeah, we can use the south obstruct. First. I'm gonna keep my physic. I guess I'll take away the steel for a second. Kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Obstructs here, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Here we go. 
take that. Oh, one XP away. Rip. Yeah. Uh, retreat, retreat in Vaughn doesn't even seem that bad. Or like break a barrier over the east here. Uh, you mean with Marin, like like this one? Yeah, maybe like that one. Yeah, I guess. I mean, there's still a bunch of force in the way. It can't yeah, like hurt up, unless we want to heal next right? turn. Or like heal him for uh, next turn. I feel like healing is pretty good on him because he might do an enemy phase or something. And like this barrier, yeah, or, how important is it really right now? Yeah, or antitoxin even. Because like she oh. does have a poison on her, right? Yeah, true. I keep thinking Marin is a dude for some reason. It kinda I guess I guess it's gonna be kinda like, like, sound like Merrick. I should have an antitoxin. Oh, sure. Alright. Uh I should have him. Yeah, there we go. Antitoxin. Finally. This weapon this item is useful. Alright, this is a great plan. This is a great plan. I like this a lot. Okay, uh, Ivy. Come on in. Uh, doesn't matter where you go, I'm pretty sure. Trade the obstructs. And pop it here. Okay, that should force them into attacking uh, Ike, basically. Like, I could say Tamara, but it's basically Ike. <laughs> at this yeah, point. yeah, basically. All I right. did that all the time with some of the engage rings. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, frankly, like the, the engage ring you have is way more important than anything you do as a unit, so I'm just going to call you by the ring. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is the one we're going for. We're very unfortunate. I guess, nah, if this doesn't work, we can always rework our way. So you don't have to worry, like, this part is not going to ruin our plan down south. This will be fine either way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Selkov. You might not have much to do if we leave him here. Should we just move him south as well? Because this is out of range of the Wyverns anyway, and maybe he'll be helpful next turn. They can't reach anything, though. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is all breakable. It's like... He's not done a They're never going to attack map, him. Does he? Yeah, he hasn't done a whole lot. He's torched, and then he, he did something at some point. I'll just move him south, see if he can come in useful. Need more movement tech on him. Oh, hello there. Okay. Well, there's some damage. Well, she's going to take more damage at the very least. I guess that's good? <laughs> Question mark? Uh, I mean... Happens, right? We got yeah. antitoxins. Okay, now she's gonna get resolve, right? Below 75%. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 that's Whoops. not good. That is not good. In fact, that might be bad. Okay, I think we have a dodge coming up here. Yeah, this is cringe. Oh, uh, that sucks about the great smash thing. Oh, yeah, we totally forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, that's cringe. Oops. Hmm. If we put people That's good to see the uh, resolve animation, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I missed it because it was too annoying. Okay. <laughs> what a map we, this is. We gotta go Jeez. back anyway. All flowers must one day wilt. Please tell my people. I was glad to give my life for them. All right, she's out of two, I guess. Jeez, brutal. A little more. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Land <laughs> failed successfully. Wow, what a great ether! <laughs> That'll do. Did you just destroy the, right the, place, yeah. the thing here, or was that just the? Hmm. They oh. they just expire. Yeah, but it, the way it expired was kind of weird. I thought it might have been her animation that did it, but we'll see, I mm. guess. All right, we have a couple remaining. Yeah, we have nine charges remaining. We'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, so at the very least, we need to change uh, Saline's turn, but I think we have to change more because obviously, uh, Panette died as well. Yeah, something else happened here too. Um, hmm. I guess let's go back to the start because I feel like what we could do maybe is wouldn't it be okay if we just put people behind her in such a way that um, like because what would happen is the the guy with the great axe would still hit her, but she would get broken instead of getting smacked backwards, right? But would that disrupt the great ether? Uh, I don't it? think it would, you know, maybe what I'm thinking is maybe I was just being too complicated and we need to go like three south in Great Aether. So the thing with the obstruct staff that I was kind of like, the reason I made it the way I did was because enemies do attack the obstruct staff if they like have no other attacks. So mm -hmm. that was why I was kind of hesitant to do something like this here. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, the Great Open's going to attack the guy, but mm -hmm. uh, maybe if the wolves are just in range of her to begin with. Well, what we could and do... the wolves will go first, and then the guy. What we could do is up, uh, is obstruct twice uh, on the tile left of her and down left of her. And that way, uh, mm. if they have no attacks, they can go for an obstruct, but they'll still be obstructed by the next one. 
afterwards. And That's at, true, yeah. at least two of them can attack her. If that doesn't work, we can always try and go for an offensive plan by actually killing these enemies, which I'm still not sure if it's possible, but let's try this plan first. Yeah. Okay. We, we've got we've, we've got the, the skeleton at this point, like, yeah. made already, so... The question is, is that skeleton part of something that works as a whole or not? All right, so yeah. we'll do this thing again. Um, we still have to kill this mage. Goodbye. I'll turn animations off for this uh, phase. Uh, you all, you've already seen them. So yeah, here. I guess I... Oh, I do see a way they can do it. If we obstruct so southwest of Tamara. Well, we'll, well, when we get there, we get there. Let's get these guys first, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is easy. Nice chain attack. I leer. Very cool. All right. So... Slightly different so plan, south what I'm hearing? Uh, it, yeah, just, slight, just slightly different. The obstructs are going to be placed southwest of Tamara and then south of that. Oh, here? Yeah. That way, if a... Axe Fighter does move first inside to obstruct, he can only break like a useless one. Yeah, because if he breaks this one, then this one will still be there. And these two both have legal attacks on Tamira, so they'll never go for the obstructs. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll steal Antitoxin with her. Uh, you moved not all the way. Oop, calm down. Oh, Diamond needs to give him the thing. This is still the same. I guess I could have turned wheel differently, but I think... No, it's because Tamara goes in a different spot, so I still have to do all this. Okay, so... Uh, Torch... And Vuln. Beautiful. Go not all the way, and... Torch. And then... Obstruct differently. This is really interesting. Alright, um, take the... Obstruct staff again. Yeah, I do love this new staff. It's so good. Uh-huh. It's great. Okay, let's hand that in again. Obstruct. So here and here, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Just gonna do this because it's slightly further away. So there's a slight chance that like, some missed math might make it so we can't reach with Ivy. I don't think so, but you never know. Alright, trade over these two utilities tabs and try again. Obstruct here. Alright. Hopefully that works. If not, we're gonna have to think about an offensive plan yeah. here. What a tough turn. Uh, she needs to get the hell they, out. But the question is, can she get out of range? Because <laughs> uh, uh, a lot of range. Uh, can she? She can like run far south and rework. Or yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's like the first she can go anyway. Well, this has to be it then. And then we need to leave Zelkov in place. I'm pretty sure, so that he can bait them. Oh yeah, he can fight that wyvern. Yeah, now you can't see him anymore, but they're still there. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Guys, yeah, you gotta forgive Mac. He's not used to moving before rework. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. Okay, I'll Usually leave that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave Zalkov as close as possible, and then hopefully they'll take the bait. Maybe some units can move backwards and help out as well, if that's necessary. They're not great at dealing with Wyvern, so I hope not. But it's the best I got right now. Alright, how about you have an Antitoxin? Anything else you might want? Because we're already here anyway, right? Antitoxin? Yeah. Antitoxin. We got the lunch. Who had the lunch? I think it's Louis. Oh. Or it's Saline. No, I put a launch on Saline herself, right? I don't think I have a launch on it anywhere right. anymore. No, I don't have a launch here. I think more like a weapon. I don't think I have much though. I don't oh, think this is useful. Silver yeah, sword or no. something? It's like a... <laughs> I could smack a guy backwards, I guess. Yeah. Anti crit. Yeah, she she yeah. does have like a. Ooh. Yeah, that slim's going to be good for anti crit. Yeah, it's not going to be used at all in this chapter, but just for fancy plays. It saved us before. I I do like the uh, the, the Levin Sword on Marin, just because like sometimes she'll reach a high defense enemy that she just can't get through. <laughs> All right, that worked. So the X Fighter did not in fact move first, so the obstructs are not going to be attacked here. All right, Zelda. Oh, we have animations off for Ether though. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but we already saw it just now when while people were dying. That's right. It we're is a time to stamp it. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. This is all people within two. Okay, I see how this works now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Regardless of whether they attacked, they just hit them all. Yeah, good plan, Raisins. Well done. Now we can definitely oh. wrap them up. That only worked the second time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if I would have gotten there. Um, let's see. So we know there's Wyverns around here somewhere. They didn't fly in Zelkov's range. Do you think that means they like flew off somewhere else? Or is this lurking here somewhere? 
one of them flew to the torch, I know. Oh, I see. The rest of them maybe are just fine to Zalkov. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope they are, because uh, if they're going south, I don't know what to do about them. I guess... Yeah, no. uh, let's see. Alir just used a torch, but he doesn't have that much vision with it, even. So I don't know if we can, like, really prepare for that. I guess I'll move these guys last and see what to do about it. Um... Okay, since so Lear just used Storch, I'm gonna move him first so that I can see what's beyond this. And uh, because he's also a backup unit now, right, when he's synced, then it's fine to put him here for like extra uh, dual strikes potentially, or extra, I keep calling it that, but you know what I mean, right? Extra chain That's attacks. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Chain attacks, and the fact that he has 11 sword means he's applying it to a lot of people here too. Yeah. I'll have to use ranged attacks to kill some of these because the spies and squares are occupying, but I think it'll be okay to kill this guy. Yeah, no. I can understand like the the kind of uh, aversion to like oh one rounding them I get fewer chain attacks this way but like <laughs> not too <laughs> like why, why would you chain attack to kill them <laughs> like, <laughs> this also kills them exactly uh, this hit rate is kind of sus but she wait they're not countering this is one range okay yeah yeah I'll just try this it's fine that's a lot of skills guys <laughs> okay got him nice work now that square is free. Or she and Cody both in the one XP away club. Yeah, <laughs> everybody here. Uh, do you think it's? I feel like Diamonds can't really keep up here anyway. Maybe we should move back up again, and in case there's more wyverns. Although if they go, if he's going back up, he, the only thing he's helping is Zelkov, who's fine. Yeah. Hmm. Let's leave him for last, and then maybe if there's like a wyvern somewhere around here, like an awkward spot, we can maybe fight him with a rewind. That's the best I can come up with right now. Louise. Okay, nice. I gotta say, I'm loving the new movement, honestly. It's pretty oh, nice great so night. Far. Yeah, yeah. I think you made a good choice here at the Great Knight. I think if you're using him like, yep. as, a, as a temp, the general makes sense still, though. Mm -hmm. But I think it works either way. Uh, Do you have a plan for the village in the south? Is that just like ETA or...? Yeah, I guess it might have to be ETA, but she's so far away. I guess you can like... Have, like, like uh, I guess you can use the pull afterwards and then shoot someone from 20 range. And it's like, oh, I can use this pull too. But I want to get to the village. I guess I'm not in a hurry to get the village. I'd rather have to engage ready in case there's an emergency. Mm. Yeah, the fog of war is going to be like a bit sus, but nah, I can attack can through the fog of war, right? Like I can attack this enemy with my uh, Lin, right? Yeah, yeah. You you can attack through the fog of war. Yeah. Okay, that's all I need to know. Obviously, the the enemy needs to be revealed, but you know. yeah, <laughs> it needs to be real. Yeah. <laughs> can't can't do imaginary enemies. I know you said revealed, but I heard real at first. And I thought it was funny. Oh, my, my accent's slipping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. All right, more chain attacks. Okay, I might just chill with animations off for a little bit. Although, I wouldn't animations on for her. She's at full HP because of Great Ether. That's pretty cool. But she only yeah, do that once, right? Yeah, it's only a, a one-time thing. Okay. We haven't actually seen a Tamara combat yet, come to think of it. Yeah, he's, he's seen Ike combat. I'll turn him on again. I'm pretty sure she'll see something on enemy phase. There's got to be something, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm Marin. Sure, just go here. We'll see what happens. Marin does not have like extra vision or anything, right? They're just they're just a cavalry kind of unit. Yeah, they're just they're just wolves. Oh, Deal I can use Illum and Illumi this turn. I should have done that first. Using the obstructs. Yeah, the the obstructs are so fun. I remember when I first got on, like this seems kind of lame. I don't know what I'd use it for. And now like it's a long range light room. What do you mean? That's yeah, I'm on check. I'm on chapter 20 and I've broken several. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know what I think? I think it's lunchtime. Time for a snack. There you go. No better place. Let's go. Let's gotta chill here. If there's reinforcements or anything I want to be. I have some music in the Yeah, there we go. See? There we go. Right on time. Caught me during lunchtime, you brute. Any more? Yep. See? The only worst time is tea time. Yeah. God, every every freaking hour of the day is tea time for Saline. For peace. Okay, these are both just dead right now. Get out of here. For the whole country, if you're in A, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do not forget your loss. I thought Fyrenae was France. How come it's the tea country? Well, it's, yeah. it's clearly not the Netherlands, man. Yeah. You guys <laughs> coffee like a slave. Isn't your word for breakfast, like, morning coffee, basically? Uh, yeah, I... I think so. Yeah. It's like... I don't know how to translate it, because it's kind of old Dutch, if anything. I'm not super familiar with the... Uh, uh, so what's the word, like, etymology or something? For, like, the origin of words? 
pretty yes, sure what it is. Yes, that's one. Okay. Yeah. I would love some more vision, so I guess we're moving Alir forward again. I think that's it was only that... a rumor. So yeah. <laughs> I apologize if my knowledge of Dutch culture and language is inaccurate. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty quiet place so far. Uh, what's that village they wrecked? Is it this one? No, was it? Was it? Hey, was it? Here? Yeah, it was that one. Uh, is there like, is there something in it, or is it just a demonstration? I, I think it's just a demonstration. I, I think so too. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like if you if you warp, you can probably get it. There, ha there has to be a way, right? Yeah, this like, this game has, has too to much movement tech to not be able to get it in some way. Uh, silver, dagger... This is a kill with Alir, but Alir already moved. And... No one else can really reach. Does that mean it's this gonna be it? There's no other way. Unless I'm warping someone. Unless I'm warping Alir three tiles forward to get the bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Sag. I mean, you'd be fine, right? I guess if I equip the hammer, I don't get broken. Mm -hmm. uh, 17 defense with Ike. Speed is... Is it a priority to trade like the Antitoxin over to Tamara? Because two poison stacks is like rather many. That's oh, that is damage. a lot. Yeah, I suppose yeah. I can take care of that. Uh, I suppose what we can do is move Marin first and then move Tamara next to him. Or her, oh. sorry. Yeah, that's good idea. Good idea. Probably. Let's get this so goes. Cool. Allow me. I will strike you down. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Oh, she pets the wolf. It's great. After every combat. <laughs> they need many pets. They need many. Alright, give me that. Keep that hammer equipped, girl. And uh, use this. Yeah, I guess just move forward and uh, heal Panettes. Um, let's see. We should have Chloe heal Panettes and then have Panettes. Let's be yeah. careful. And have Ivy move Chloe. Uh, that's... I'm gonna let's have go, a full stack of physics by the end of the game, I'm calling yeah. it. <laughs> if I can do this, I will do it every time. Take this. I mean, like, you're, you're next to Convoy, it's it's the wise thing to do, right? So... It is. I mean, it adds a little it bit is. of video time, but I think, generally, I've been pretty good about managing, managing length of my videos, so it'll be fine. Uh, do you, you already have one. You already have that's a right. physic. Here you go. Use that. Now that you're a short channel, and this episode is taking us two sessions to record, right? Yeah. <laughs> <Get it. laughs> hey, build Ooh. on Ivy. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, like build speed, nice. Yeah, plus two AS, baby. Um, hey. Put you right behind there. There's nothing that's going to, like, attack you this turn, so I guess there's no drawbacks to doing this. All right, Zelkov, you're really good at revealing Fog of War, aren't you? You can see all the way around himself. How nice. Hmm. No. I think if Selene and Diamant vacate the area, then more flyers are going to go for Zelkov. Oh, you're probably right. All right. Run, guys, run. Uh, you're going to get village before I forget. Hopefully you can reach it. You can, right? Yeah, okay. You can see everything here. Okay, good. Um, Selene, I can just warp, re -warp to try and catch up with the rest, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I, can you buy more of these? I forgot. Or was it like a one-time thing? Uh, I think you can buy more. I, think so I don't too. know how many, but yeah, same. Yeah, it. I think she's not gonna make a big difference. I'm just gonna walk for now. We'll walk with my boy Diamond. Fair enough. Yeah, we got like Tamara, Marin, mm -hmm. a whole lot of them. There's right. Some people here. Iron Blade guy. I love how you can see the big ass sword on the map. That's great. Oh, it's so massive. Sword. Twenty-eight and twenty. We have a lot of speed. Uh, I think my my farmer brain says put Chloe there because she is she is a lance, but I don't think that's quite how it works. But Louis, on the other hand, is uh, made for this. And Louis also has the lance. Yeah, in fact, he has multiple. Um, I could Javi for a little bit of damage, or I could just equip a Iron Lance for more damage on the enemy phase. Um, I mean, the sum damage is better with Javelin, right? So mm -hmm, probably. I'm not sure what else behind, what else is behind it, but I can't really use anyone else to check besides Louise because you know I don't really want Alir exposed to a bunch of enemies. Well, I guess now I can give it a go. Yeah, we could like rework with Torch Saline in the middle of a bunch of enemies, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, that work well. We use rewarp and then a rewind. It's like a very costly uh, uh, rewind or very costly <laughs> torch staff. Very costly torch staff. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, I guess Can we like have a... FE seven torch. <laughs> yeah. I don't really want a Panette in that range. But Marin would be okay, or Tamara. Honestly, Tamara needs to get her gauge back up if you want to use that again, maybe. So let's use the Silver Lance here. See what a normal combat looks like. Have Ivy here. What is her personal again? I just no, never mind. It's not relevant here. Yeah, no. Okay. Chloe Say has a relevant word. personal, I guess. If we go around here somewhere. All right, just Kizai. bundle up everyone. 
This will definitely benefit someone, it's just not me. A giant ball of death. Yeah, basically. Uh, well, might as well. Heal, please. Alright, Louise taking zero from a blade, golly. Was this guy supposed to fall off at some point? Yeah, no. Take notes, Brunet. Can't fall off if you put someone on a horse. Chain attacks. I, I actually think that's the only way you can fall off is if you're on a horse. Yeah. Oh, there's more coming. Okay, I hope Zelgoth can dodge well. I think this yeah. is like his thing, but it's scaring me a little bit, all these wyverns. How much are we talking here? 103? I think he's fine. No, oh, he's fine. Yeah, no, get out I think of here. he's got this. It's, yeah. It's because it's, it's personal, right? Yeah. Well, that too. Jeez. He's so busted. Oh, and he just, he just pones them too, right? Fair yeah, enough. I'm going to keep him here, though. In fact, uh, it would be the first move I make is to wait here. Uh, again, I, I have never talked about this in any video ever besides this Let's Play, but like, I've realized that moving people first that you're always going to do if you're with a time crystal or something like it, it makes the most sense because you have to rewind less. Uh, or rather, you have to redo less moves if you rewind. Alright, visit. Oh no! Yeah. I'll it's... tell my mana to hide. Use this to beat the bad guys. Oh, nice. Alright, I can definitely beat someone with there the rescue go. staff for sure. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. How nice they just give this to you with five uses too. How nice. Uh, one, to eight. one to eight, that's rather nice. Yeah, pretty good. Take those. Alright. Um, let's see, one, two, three, maybe four. Another group that's still great axe, so people better be at full health when we get there. Uh, one, two, two, three, four, five. Chloe can't get past torches? Come on. Just impassable? Wow. Okay, so we probably just cannot get this guy. We can block him with Louise afterwards if we're through here. He's um, gonna run at Louis. Uh, you wanna move Alir first again to see a little bit more and maybe get the dual attacks in again? Ooh, that's fun, yes. Uh, still trying to find a spot to use Lucina. I'm not very good at finding them again. Uh, Wait, what about this one here? All for one Lucina with... What? On what? This guy? Cause, yeah, because we're one short of the Swordmaster, right? So it's yeah, I guess we, um, Yeah, I guess, but we might have people that don't have anything to do. Like, if Panet moves here, don't we just get the kill with Elir next? Because of the... Oh, the backup, you're right. Yeah. yeah, true, true. That's what I think. God, our offense is so good. I'm kind of... I really wish I didn't hate her design so much, because she seems really good for just killing things. You said it kind of grosses you out. I think that's like the idea, though, right? Yeah, that is the idea, but it doesn't make it any more, any more pretty. <laughs> like a, like a scary doll from a horror movie. Yeah. Uh, I want... This is not a viable move, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I guess going here... I guess that that's works. not too bad. It's not bad as long as there's no enemies waiting for me behind there, so let's hope that's not the case. It does provide his personal to people attacking the other guy at one range, so I would like to move here if I can. Um, I think Marin can break, probably. And then can I finish oh, off with true. anyone, though? Her sword rank is pretty good. Do we have like a silver in convoy or something? We might. I guess we're next to the convoy, aren't we? Yeah. This yeah, might be short enough, still. Though. Yeah. It's close. Mm. We need I mean, we like, got eight more damage. That's a lot. Or we just go for it and use Louis to follow up. Because, like, what's oh. Louis going to do otherwise? Uh, block this spot. Oh, true. You get a point. I guess it's okay if we don't block it, because there's no enemies nearby here except these guys. Or... Don't move yet. Oh, actually, just block, this guy. Block the spot first with Louis, and then have oh. Tamara jab, and oh, now wow. we have a backup. Yeah. Actually, just moving Louise out of the way solves the problem completely. I guess we get, like, broken by this guy afterwards, because if we go here and jab, right? Unless... Yeah, oh, wait, no, I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah tamara has got a jab, too. Yeah, true, true, true. Okay, let's go. All right, so go here and just attack this guy with a killer axe, I guess. Uh, come on. Just go for... Uh, what would you call a shitter crit? I don't know if we should uh, go for this. He, he, he kind of dies. <laughs> yeah, he kind of dies on the... I mean, like, we if he attacks us, we still attack first, right? We can still... We still have the opportunity yeah. to shit her crit, as it were. Absolutely right. Okay, so now we jab with Tamara. Well, why do I see no damage here? Damn. <laughs> Is this enough? No. That's down to... Wasn't... We need, like, 60 more damage. This might be exactly enough. But, yeah, but she provides a chain attack herself, right? So... Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, I think even without the chain attack, it would be enough. But let's, let's see. I think I'm confident this is going to work out now. 
Right, yeah. So. You better hit these though. Oh, that's true. Something misses. I'll, go first. I'll go first. I guess if Alir was engaged, we'd have to guaranteed hit here, right? Because he guarantees chain attacks hit. That is on his all for one. The oh. chain attacks are guaranteed hits. Well, guess we're not missing. Allow me. That's it. <laughs> we just hit everything. That right? is satisfying. <laughs> that is a satisfying series of chain attacks. Excellent. Okay, nice, 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 nice. All right, so I guess Chloe's just gonna go here and pick up a tile. Uh, I don't think we need to physic anyone. Illum, maybe, or I don't know where the Illum is. Yeah, I put it in convoy. It's it's up one use, but I guess I can buy more if I'm pretty sure. So it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, you can do that. Well, why not, right? I know. I think oh, we just kill him on the uh, counter now. Yeah, maybe I should. Well, I think there was like a whole a traffic jam there that made it impossible to do that. That's fair enough. Uh, well, just keep on walking, I guess. Cover the cover the rear guard, as it were. Cover ATA. All right, let's get him Zelkov. No, not my Zelkov. Yo, his damage hit and crit total is sub ten. That's kind of pathetic. He's gonna be our first one to get to oh, zero, zero, zero. All right, zero. this is the yeah. It's tea time. Sixty-nine. Tea and chill. Tea and chill. Yo, defense. Ooh, eh? Strength, speed, defense. Hmm. <laughs> I think he got some good stats that level. Yeah, sometimes he does that. <laughs> Such ephemeral life. Goodbye. Next, please. Will we ever see Papaya again? <laughs> I know. Maybe if there's so much fog that we can't see Zelkov, then I might feel like Papaya. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The other thing about Zelkov, he's got the like the FE10 Soren thing going on, where his model is so like like gray. You forget that it to looks move like him. I moved him. Yeah, yeah. well, I forget I'll, to move him. I'll make sure to do it first. There All we right. go. Good thing we got that out of the way. Okay, technically I could fire arrows now with her. Actually, I'm not sure if she can reach with 20 range from here. Yeah, here she doesn't have enough. I think <laughs> she's too far away. Oh, she can call doubles, Aww. I guess. Yeah. She okay. Can call double. I guess I'll just <laughs> move in that direction so that I can maybe next turn do it. Not likely though, because we keep on going. Actually, the map kind of ends there, doesn't it? Northwise, we just need to go here instead. Mm -hmm. Right. They probably will move at some points. I could probably bait him separately in a doll move, and then they both have an extra health bar, so doing some damage in the counter attack would be very nice. And we gotta take care of these first, I presume. Don't have my bows here. Uh, I wonder how Chloe does against this guy. Uh, just 19 and break. I guess at least, like, worst case scenario, Louis can just finish that off with, like, the iron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that can work. And then we just have that guy. Um, I mean, when offense is needed, Panette always comes through, right? Okay. <laughs> so strong. But I have sort of here, too. Fair enough. What do you think about maybe using Marin to counter the this guy, the Tomahawk Ooh. guy, because he that's, can like, that's pretty good. poison. It applies poison to start, yeah. Uh, wait, can you Ooh. do this? Is it? Yeah, that breaks too. The uh, we can even like use the Lucina engage to chain guard Marin as well. Uh, I suppose. Like in case we really care about saving that extra point of damage, right? Wait, extra point of damage? I thought it was an entire attack that saves. Well, I mean, you know what I mean, like. Many points of damage. Right? Okay, right. okay. I was like, wait, what, what point of damage was it talking about? So you think like yeah. engage Levin Sword Chip here and then kill with uh, Panette or something and then put... Wait, for the guard to work, we need to put... Yeah, Marin would have to go here then, right? With the, with the knife. Uh, yes, Marin has to go there. Actually, hold on. If Alir goes one east, one south, and then Marin goes east of that, then I think actually both of them are in range of Marin. Mm. And because we save one attack with, uh, with Lucina... It's no danger, right? So that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I mean, there's the 10% chance it goes through anyway, because, you know, they did copy that from Awakening. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Details. We also need Details. someone else. We also need someone else to hit that uh, Wyvern then, because Lear can attack from here, unless Panette can get it from a prior self. Yeah, I'm sure. Actually, she can one around kill. What am I talking about? Uh, in fact, can you do it from here? Jeez. <laughs> Easy money. Oh my goodness, what the <laughs> heck? Okay, yeah. Didn't even need the Alir personal either. Alright, Panette. That's cool. 
Okay, so we need to move. It doesn't matter what order we move in, right? We just go engage. Lend me your yeah, strength. yeah. I keep on wanting to call it Chain Guard, but it's like technically a different mechanic. Bonded Shield, yes, that's what it's called. All right, I guess that also helps with that. So then Marin goes here and equips a knife. Dagger. A knife! <laughs> what you got there, Marin? What, that a knife? A knife. Actually, wait. Uh, wasn't someone supposed to help with that? Oh, it was her. Yeah, right. Okay, uh, that's fine. No, it's mm. fine. We, oh, no, 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 it's fine. Uh, they two is go together. It does, like... Yeah. What if we leave them? I guess, like, what are they gonna do? Like, hit Panette? Who cares, right? Or we just even put them here? Because I'd rather they be able to, like, help with the boss kill than help kill this one flyer out here that they don't care about. That makes sense, right? Just leave, the, like, wall off Panette or even, like, just put him out here so they can help out over here. Oh, with uh, Alir engaged, it's actually nice to have people around here, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Much better. Okay. Let's just chill out of range I, now with these. I just had a thought that maybe the Tomahawk guy is just going to go for Alir now because I totally didn't do my square math correctly, but... Yeah. That came to mind to me. I was like, nah, he probably thought of that. But it's fine. Alir survives a hit, so... Yeah, okay. no. Okay. Let's get it. Uh, and I was about to agree with all these Louis plays, but I had to sneeze, so... <laughs> Understandable. Uh, let me see if we can sneak in range with Rewarp here too, because I feel like being fancy. <laughs> By Diamond, half Just, on your own. By the great power of Rewarp, <laughs> yeah. Zaylene can keep up with the other foot units. <laughs> Four moves, is, or five moves, one hell of a drug, I guess. Uh, we have her too. <laughs> oh, rubbish. I think we have the options we need. Alright, please don't crit all year, I guess. Nothing I hate worse than a medal. You stuck your nose in our business, you'll pay. If you say so. Yeah, I got too greedy. Yeah, I guess now he doesn't get the poison applied to him. I just realized, so that's kind of unfortunate, but... Yeah. We still have Alir in a really good position, providing a bunch of damage. Oh. Please kill. Oh, never mind, you got broken. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine, that's fine. We'll Everyone is here. Right? Oh, what are they doing? Where are you going? He has this. Oh, he's the Brave Axe, so now the way is blocked. Oh, I see. That kind of ruins the plan. Well, let's try to get the kills, and if we can't manage, we can always reroll, not do the Alir play, just do something a little more conservative. Yeah, like the same thing, but like one square back. Yeah. We took our skills. Okay, we got nothing. We got nothing either, oh. right? Yeah, okay. They just have no skills. Okay, so it's, they can be broken and stuff. Wait, check the guy's res. Uh, what, this guy? No, lower guy. I'm getting some res. Yeah. <laughs> That's just capped res. Oh, I was like, where's that bonus coming from? It's not a bonus, it was just cap. Okay, I see. All right. Okay, so... What is Lucina doing right now? Is it just like... I keep forgetting how she works. Um, so he participates in them. He always participates in the thing. And then all for one makes it so that everyone is going to like gank Stay on this strong. guy, right? That's the idea. Yeah, everyone, everyone within two squares of Alir will do it. Okay, so if we go from here, we get all these five, and if we go from up here, then it's gonna be these three. So technically here is better, but he only does that at one range, so we have to go here and get these yeah, three here. It's kind of cringe. So it's probably better to move other people first so that they're also able to participate in that one then, right? So like do something like this, for example. Yeah, and because Alir is already in position too, like he's already providing chain attacks. So like having other people move in and attack the guy now is still like profitable. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me just put together a couple of attacks and we'll see if it's enough or not. Mathing this out could take five years. The Oasis is ours, you hear? We've got exclusive plundering rights. Crit. <laughs> Never lucky. Alright, don't forget about that guy. But it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Hello, mage. Yeah, I mean, if we, if we, if this, if this turn ends up with not a, a kill, I think we have to, we have bigger things to worry about. Uh, this is probably bad. Oh, it, it kind of works, I guess. There's still a lot of chain attacks going yeah. on, at least. Still and damage. she's providing new chain attacks, too. So. Yeah, let's go for it. I'll go first. <laughs> I don't know if we could do four health points this turn, but let's let's find out. Uh, uh, we want to be if Alir's if we assume Alir's gonna go from here or here, we want Ivy like around here, right? Like something like that. 
Uh, she kills. This guy with the Tomahawk, so the, the, the counterattack doesn't matter. We don't, we're always going to get yeah. counterattacked here. Uh, well, I guess we just go for this. No, wait. Well, we wind doesn't. Yeah, yeah. We need the Thunder. Um, oh, she's not doubling either way. That's what we're getting. If, if we're going to use Thunder anyway, we might as well do it from further away. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, this seems much better. Or from a square that can all for one. This one's fine too. Yeah. Oh, did we miss? Yeah, we missed one, I think. Unfortunately. Mm. That, like, actually kind of stinks. Yeah, it does. Now we need to use, like, Louise or something. If we take out these guys, is there a way that we can, like, obstruct staff the Brave Axe guy? Because he only has a Brave Axe, right? Yeah. Well, we'd have to think about making a wall. And if we do that, mm. then we probably want Louise around somewhere, like, this, something like this square. So yeah. Maybe Louise also, finishes, how much is... and then, like... I th actually, we can use anything we want here, because... Um... We're gonna like do like chain attack anyway. Yeah, how much um how how much does he do to the mage? Or, or rather how much does the brave axe do Louis? Sorry, Louis, my bad. Uh well this is player phase. Any phase he gets like extra attacks, right? Because of the the brave effect on on their phase, right? Oh, Ooh, so this would yeah. be I a guess one round kill. A lighter <laughs> weapon, maybe. Yeah. Is there a way to like equip a lighter weapon and not get doubled? That's better. Maybe. This is better. Yes. It gets broken, but that might actually serve as like good bait. Like it wouldn't be terrible if that actually happened. So oh, I guess we, true, can, yeah. we can use this to kill the other boss, and then maybe fire ATA and a bunch of other random stuff at them for the second health bar. Oh, true. We still have ATA. Yeah. I think she can reach. I'm not sure actually. I'll check when he has the full health bar. Right. We're we'll all for one him. Let's see how much that does. Oh, I blocked that square. I need to move Baron out of the way now. Um, I guess I'll check ATA first. She's been waiting. Uh, it might be too far away, but let's check anyway. Oof. Let's run again. All right. Uh, the most might is on the steel bow, and that range though, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's not it's not max. Still hits. Yeah, we could be cheeky. Killing a flyer might be better, but... What might be better? Killing a flyer. Oh. Well, yeah, that, that's if an enemy phase is going to happen. Yeah, true. We could kill yeah, a flyer true. instead. Mm. Let's try for the boss kill first, and then we can always go for it. Because like, if we're doing flyers, I think we're doing something completely different, honestly. It's like true, if... yeah. I think Saline might still have it. What, from here on this boss? Yeah. That might be nice, because then we can save a leer for the other one. Nice so how many linked attacks are going on, yeah. Yeah. Nice one, ATA. Alright, well, um... Saline. Like, fire plus one. Uh, the counterattack is kind of nasty, but it never hits, basically. Yeah, 16%. We have 15 from chain attacks alone. And then 10. And then we take that counterattack. So thunder would not be enough, right? Because then... Uh, yeah, yeah, we're thunder, not doing we need to double. Yeah. That's fine. I'll roll with this. I'll go first. Me too. <laughs> the chain attacks. Alright, here goes nothing. Yep, there we go. There he goes, nothing. No. Was it much of a big brother? Was I? Sag face. I cry. I cry, Everton. Were you supposed to feel sorry for them? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so now the question is, will this be enough to get rid of one health bar and then can we somehow put down another one on him? So this is... I think this is underwhelming every time I look at it, really, the, the all for one. Why is it so weak? Yeah, unless you've packed like a hundred people in here. And then we only have two units left. Unless... There's no way like Marin can one round, right? No, he does a lot though. And by a lot, I mean, this is mostly chain Not attacks. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he inflicts the poison. All right, he, she's trying. She's trying. I guess we can like move him, move her closer, and then go for an all for one, and then just kind of. Yeah, it doesn't really look good on any face, no matter how I slice it. I'm afraid. Uh, I think we can get rid of one health bar, and it kind of ends there. Yeah. Let's let's try and see if that works out. It probably won't. I think it still makes sense to move units in. Yeah, we've got a lot of people. What if we just, like, leave him? Because if he can't die, then, like, 
Might yeah. as well get rid of the mage or some other extra attackers, right? Yeah, I'm definitely. I think I'm definitely gonna get rid of the mage. The thing is, I think Chloe. I actually can kill one flyer, I suppose. I guess I can kill one flyer with Chloe. There's no way Alir can kill the other flyer though by himself. Yeah, he cannot. Um, yeah, no, no way. Unless Alir can kill the mage with oh, Alpha actually, One. Can he? Does he? He maybe with the Vibration plus one, he doubles the Axe Flyer. Maybe. It's not pl it's like, possible. I, I know, there's I know no way he kills though. Like we'd have to all for mm, one, yeah, no. no matter what. I mean, we can all, all we can all for one the mage, two. and then Marin can kill a flyer, and then Chloe can kill a flyer, and then it's only the boss that's like murdering someone probably. But the boss might have mercy on yeah, us, yeah. and we're fine. Like he might go for Louise or something dumb like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's. Yeah, I think the boss is gonna end up murdering Alir probably, so you better be uh, ready for that. Uh, yeah, All for one murder the mage. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, right? Because not, he doesn't want to take a counter. Which I think he doesn't this way. Yeah, he doesn't. I mean, he's at 10 HP. He doesn't really... If he gets attacked by the boss, he's kind of dead anyway. But he's in the forest this way. Yeah, we're in the forest. Trust. And I think he has more of like a void plus... 15, I want to say? Does he? Something like it. Yeah. Oh, you did inherit a Void 10. Not bad. Yeah. Alright, so Chloe... Takes this one out. I think... If we rewind, we could rewind to that turn where we were baiting him and it kind of went wrong and he went for Alir instead. And then yeah, maybe with the damage right. from Marin, then we could maybe pull it off. Because that's yeah. it, we did no damage to this one boss on a... This one boss on enemy phase. And then... I think something else went wrong on that enemy phase too. Yeah. I, oh, I'd like to keep that though. <laughs> yeah, let's keep this unit. <laughs> I think it keeps are, that. Are they all gonna look like that? <laughs> yeah, we we keep that. Although Marin does need to get a level in order for us to keep it. I think. Yeah, true. Well, I think he'll he'll fight the bosses on enemy phase. We rewind, right? So, all right, Panette. All right, here goes nothing. She'll be fine. Oh. She'll be She'll fine. fine. Easy dog. She'll be fine. <laughs> Every time. Panette died like five times this round. <laughs> Unacceptable. All right. Yeah, let's All get right. to the start of the other turn. Yes. Or the, the time when we messed up that initial. I think, uh, let's see. It was like, yeah, it was the turn before this, but this should be the last turn, or the second to last turn of the game. Okay, so Zelkov waited is fine. Atia waited is fine. Uh, Panette, I think she killed like an enemy that she wasn't even in range of. Bonnet Shield is where it started going wrong, I think. So I think we go here, right? That yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, this is the right place to go. Yeah. Okay. Question is, can we pull off from here? We could use Marin for like a massive lure and then just hope he dodges. Or I keep... It's because I keep, I got it stuck in my head that Marin is a dude and now it's just stuck in there. I hate it. Oh, um, no. Yeah, let me... There's Marin no actually can be in range of maybe like the mage and the other boss, right? Well... But there's, there's that square three east of Penat. Yeah. That's in range of two guys. But so. we wanted to we need, we need to weaken both bosses in order to win next turn, don't we? I mean, do we? Maybe the poison and the one attack from Marin is actually gonna be enough. Did we get zero attacks on the boss last turn? Last time we attacked? Yeah, we had zero. Oh, that might be why. Yep. Zero completely. And no poison applied too. I wonder if the uh, the forest of white would be enough. They only have eight. this one has eighty one hit. This one is 91. Marin alone has 80, 54 avoid, and this force provides 30. Oh, yeah, no. What, am I, what are we talking about? This whole dual guard nonsense. Yeah. This dagger in Lamau. Dagger on the tile. Hmm. That yeah, and the mage will die too, I guess. So that's that's there too. Uh, this will put him a little further away, but I think that's okay. Like, Panette might not be able to do anything next turn. What a, what a tragedy. Yeah, let's just get the rest of our... I mean, she can still like move forward and provide a backup or a hand axe still, right? Yeah, I think there's just enough. To, uh, she's going to be weakened, so she can't take a counterattack. But other than that, she's completely fine. Okay, so ah, just... But being mm. weakened means more crit. Do we engage Alir in advance so that it's easier to get dual stuff? It doesn't matter, this. right? Let's just engage and go here, I guess. Like, yeah. as close as possible. I mean, there's no way this combat is going to last like four turns, right? So... No. We may as well just yeah. engage. 
It was just like, should we do it right now? More like, is this a good idea in general? Or does it just not matter? Because I'm, I'm noticing I'm having trouble like parsing all of Lucina's possibilities. She's very weird. Uh, yeah, let's go here. I also just miss my old emblems. <laughs> I miss my old yeah. emblems. <laughs> Give them to yeah, me. Yeah, we're okay. staggered, man. We definitely need Sally now. Yeah, I'm not sure she's going to reach with this extra tile that I just lost because of Diamond. So let's see if this works out. Thanks, Diamond. Thanks, Diamond. Very cool. All this right. should be enough to get the Marin level 2. Uh, who does? All right. Oh, you're pretty far out of my way. That's annoying. Nice hit rate, bro. Okay, this should be a lot more damage on him now. This person is dead. That was cool, was it not? Okay, get the good level, please. It was please. so cool, Marin. Yeah. Yeah. Get wrecked. Send that. Don't send the dagger. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Whatever you, you do. You hear? I hear ya. Okay, it should be a lot more damage now. Yeah, and poison applied too. Hey. 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 Okay, so priority move in Alir and Panette for the chain attacks. And uh, Timera as well. Mm -hmm. So this is a situation where, like, the all for one math, like, you, we might be tempted to move Alir last in order to like all for one with a million guys. But if we move him first, then he provides the same number of chain attacks that he would have got from other people moving first. So as far as the math goes, I think moving Alir first for the personal is probably wise. Mm. So maybe put him in a space where Panette can attack next to him. Uh, yeah, Panette or anyone really. Yeah. See, if Panetta's is fine attacking this guy, I would like to do that. Although, it seems wise to, let's see, she does survive. Mm -hmm. so what about from the, or earlier from the forest? That way, like, he's providing chain attack on everybody. Mm, sure. So, just all for one first? No, Might wait. as well. Yeah, but then there's no one here to all for one with, right? Well, I mean, the alternative was you just regular attack, right? So, this one. At least it doesn't miss. Yeah, I guess so. All right, all for one. <laughs> on, uh, the, on the eleven sword though, for chain attacks or no? Uh, yeah, I guess so. All right, so all for one for a massive six damage. I'll hear nothing. There you go. <laughs> Everything has changed, but really nothing has changed. <laughs> And yeah, it's kind of tempting to be like, oh, I want to stack a bunch of chain attacks in here, but moving him first also stacks a bunch of chain attacks here, because now we have the Eleven Sword and everyone. Yeah, but doesn't he provide chain attacks anyway because of uh, uh, Dual this? Assist. Uh, or, yeah, this? I guess that's a point. There's like a 35%. He just, you know, swings in with one. Oh, it is It is a chance-based thing. All right, never mind then. Yeah. Okay, so because he's broken... Maybe the math was like in slightly in favor. Mm -hmm. Okay, she can only thunder or attack this guy, but she like bottom rounds this guy now. Oh, he's easy. good. So I guess this is pretty good. Oh, we want Saline. I guess we want. Technically, we want all the chain attack units first. I think. Still, uh, this doesn't quite kill. So if you have Tamara in there first, then it kills. I think. So like. Oh yeah, that's way better. Look at that. See, this is not good, but if it was broken, it would be good. What about Jav? Because Jav and then uh, uh, Hand Axe did kill that health bar, right? Yeah, I suppose so. I was trying to like make it work out exactly to the point where oh. like Tamara does just enough to where she kills with one more attack from something. So I was trying to oh, find a way to point. have Tamara do something useful, and then Panette can get rid of the health bar by herself. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that Tamara has to be in a weird spot that's in the way a little bit. I mean, if we have Tamara just like attack in melee, like, yeah, she takes damage, but so we kill everybody. Uh, you raise a good point. She still doesn't kill, though. Uh, no, I mean, like, so Tamara attack. Oh, wait, I keep confusing Tamara and Bennett in my head without actually and saying Tamara. that. But Tamara yeah, goes in melee here, are like, is what you're saying. Pretty similar. Yeah, and then we just like trade her over to Jab. I suppose so. Because. Well, we'd have to trade before we move Panette, right? does kind of like... Hmm. 
It kind of wastes Celine's attack too, though, because Celine is, has like a very clean one round, does she not? She does, but there's still another health bar to go after this. Well, yeah, that's why Tamara attacking the second health bar is good. Yeah, I guess this is fine to do. I was like, if I find another clean way to do this health bar, I can afterwards uh, use this damage with the chain attacks and everything on the next health bar. Oh, you had a better point actually there. Hmm. But I don't I know. Agree. You could you could like find infinite ways to like do this over and over. This would be a good uh, mini pitfalls or something like that. But yeah, you no, know, it's it's fine. We don't have to be super optimal to do this exactly right. I'm pretty sure we might end up not killing. I'm pretty Stilo. sure we've got to take care of. Yeah. Uh, if we do Tamara first, and then like yeah, like Tamara Silverlands first. And then trade and then hand axe or something? What about... Uh, still not good. Yeah, we don't really have the trades. Hmm. What about Jav, frankly? Because that way we're still providing the chain attack. Because uh, I think between Marin... Okay, so imagine both of these bosses have one health bar each, and there's like Marin, Chloe, Louie, Ivy left to move. I'm pretty sure we got it. Yeah, I think you're right. Let me just try jabbing first on this... Uh... So this guy... This guy, right? Yeah. This guy. Yeah. It seems weird to just like walk up and <laughs> yeah, yeah, walk up down with a javelin, but trust me, in some in some universe it makes sense. All right, and now Panette has the clean kill on him with a couple of chain attack hits, of course. Yeah, I mean just hit, right? So yeah, just hit, just hit, just hit, easy. Finally, I get to use chain attacks. Like, well, <laughs> it takes a while. All right, got him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see how I'm killing Bofa, but. Maybe I mean, I'm... we have Ivy, Chloe, Louie. Yeah, but they're both alive, though. Let's see. Chain attacks alone are like 15. So I guess we only have to... We basically have four attacks to kill two people. So I guess logic dictates that it should be Marin who attacks first, because he makes the deal extra damage. Yeah. And he can break so... them as well. Although I guess they're... if they're going to have to die the next attack, the break doesn't matter. Yeah, like, probably Marin attacking the south one, because we need to open up some squares for Chloe and Louie on this north one. I think that makes sense. Uh, let's go with Silver Dagger, because, again, it does the most damage. Yeah, I think we might actually have to damage. Uh, let's do the forest. We do need to hit a couple chains next here along the way, probably, but so far, no, no issue. We've got it, we've got it. All right. Ivy can finish this off. Once I confirm that, I'm going to look at the top one for a bit. Okay, so this is like pretty much guaranteed at this point. Like 100% guaranteed with, with Ivy. Yeah, here. even even ignoring the chain attacks, we just got it, right? Yeah. So. Um, Louise. Strongest attack is the Silver Axe. This is 18 plus up to what, 10 more. So he's on the 12 potentially. Chloe might double the guy with 100 hits. I think that's enough damage, even without. Unless we get like, super completely unlucky with Chainsaw. We still have ATA too, I think. Yeah. Oh, we do, yeah. I think, uh, depending on where she can reach. Let me, let me try that. Ampla. I forgot about that for a minute. Uh, Steel Bow is still the strongest one. Yeah, we oh, definitely got this. Yeah. Easy. easy. Yeah, easy. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, yeah, get out of here. Get this one. Now I, have you. I forgot we had ATA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of nice. helpful, though. What a boss rush. Holy god. I know this is what the game is like for a lot of the rest of the game. Does Fire Emblem finally have good boss battles? What? Possible. Wait, okay, Speed Taker. It's very relevant this battle. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's fry this other bean. Get him Ivy. Watch my chain attacks. Here we go. Oh, nice. Uh, might be like poor timing. Was there a village I need to visit? I think I got all the villages I can get, right? Yeah, except yeah. that one here that got destroyed on turn one. But, yeah, you know. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just my bad for being a noob. That's fine. Details, details. details. Alright, Chloe, you can have this flyer. And then Mui misses. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and then we cry. Alright. Good boss battle. A little short, but still pretty good. Let's go get him. Luis Gaming! Goodbye. Bye!
Yes, I let my brother down again. Nice. Good night. Gosh, what a map. What a map. Oh, that MVP. Yeah, what a map. Long map. Oof. I mean, in this timeline where Panette didn't die five times, she is MVP. Okay, it's, we still have story to go, though. Holy moly. Our shortest episode yet. Yeah. Don't worry, Chapter 5 still exists. <laughs> right. That takes care of that. Sorry for roping you into the scuffle, Divine One. That's all right. But I haven't had a chance to say why I'm here. I already explained this to Queen Sephoria and Prince Fogato, but the Fell Dragon has been released. He's back. Hmm. It's sudden, I know. You're probably shocked. I already knew. You did? Mom and Fogato did too. We've all known for a while now. Fogato, you too? Sorry. Truth is, our chance meeting in Tula Desert wasn't totally by chance. Were you deceiving us? The opposite, actually. I had to make sure that you weren't deceiving us. When the Fell Dragon returned, we had to take steps to protect our country. I'll lay it out for you. The palace has scouts all over Elios, keeping an eye on the Three Kingdoms. When Elusia brought back the Fell Dragon, we learned about it early on. But we couldn't beat him without the Emblem Rings. And we couldn't use them without you. Our only option was to focus on defense. The Corrupted started appearing, so we had to quickly lay out a plan. And what was the plan? First off, Mom would stay in the palace. She'd work with the Royal Guard to keep out intruders. And we'd send out our militia, the Sentinels, to bolster soldiers' efforts against the Corrupted. As captain, my job was to watch out for the corrupted near the Illusion border. If someone claimed to be the Divine Dragon, I'd size him up and bring him to the palace. That's why you hid the fact you're a prince. I was in the Sentinels too, and I wandered the country keeping our ring safe. As part of this plan, did you ever consider asking for another country's help? No, because then we'd have to help them. We can't fight another country's battles. We're stretched thin fighting our own. That's how Solm does it. You scratch your own back, we'll scratch ours. Thank you very much. I see. I'm sorry we misled you, but we did it to protect the Queendom. I don't mean to criticize your country's way of doing things. I'm just surprised. Here's the most important part of the plan, though. If you did turn out to be the Divine Dragon, we'd give you the Ring of the Radiant Hero and then tell you where to find our other emblem ring. Solm has a second ring? Yep, the ring of the crux of fate. It's in the... Your Highness, a message from Solm Palace. Huh? What is it? It's being attacked, Hortensia, isn't it? Princess of Illusia yeah. has breached the palace. Oh. 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 What? How did she get in? We have to save Mom. Let's go. I uh, know. Parents are on a losing streak in this one. Hortensia again. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sure Ivy will stop her somehow. Ivy versus Hortensia? And, and maybe versus, maybe not. I don't know. All right, let's, let's pick up the stuff here. Bond fragments. Nice episode. Nice map. Mm -hmm. And a duck. Or this pigeon, rather. Give me that Adopted. pigeon. Adopted. You will never see the light of day again. <laughs> Staying in the stable. Yes. Only the dogs go outside. You gotta keep. What the hell? This grass is too big. I can't walk over the grass. No. I know. Uh. We're doomed. I will never escape this confinement. All right. It's just a. Uh, it's like a tiled sidewalk, and there's a crack there. You can't step on it. <laughs> Got that. Ooh. My donations to Brody are coming in handy. Yo, where's this? Hello? Where's this one? Is it in the jar? I'm not a link. I, I can't smash at, them. We're good at video games, guys. I swear. I trust. Is this just it's like mache over is here? This is the light of the village or something? I guess I'm missing Maybe. one. Oh, there it is. It's by the barrel. Oh. Like there? What? Like no, if you state. spin around and like look directly at it now, you'll see it. Oh, well, guess not. It's out of range. 
I'm good at video games, I swear. This is gonna make this is gonna make the whole episode take like five hours. <laughs> yeah, this this alone will make the episode very long. I'm sorry. Did, did you see it? Did you already see it before? What the heck? I'm dumb. Yeah, it was right there by the barrel. Now I see it, right? Just click the barrel. Oh, there you uh, go. All right, all right, cool. I'm so used to looking like long out. spots on the ground. Okay, you got it. Honestly, the hardest part of this episode was that part. Honestly, yeah, no, the boss battle that, that was easy. That was easy. If you take out all the rewinds, it was a really than... easy battle. Isn't yeah, it, isn't it the well though? Is that how yeah, I have to think well. at this point? Is it in this pot? Behind the well. There you go. Potato. Oh, it's in the pot. Potato. How Shout useful. Out to potato. Which was easier, finding these or finding the bright yellow glowing spots in the bright Thank yellow you. sandy desert? God. Freaking fog of war maps, man. Freaking fog maps. Oh, what? Oh, a dog, real quick. I have a million dogs. I feel like I should let this one go. <laughs> I have four dogs already. What do I need more dogs for? Like, the camel would be cool, but I don't have my donations in order, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, I think I got all Rip. the things. Uh, it doesn't matter. Get their bonding fragments. Like, look at this massive party. Got a lot of people. And Marin. She's even got the wolf tail, did you notice? Oh, wow. That's cute. She doesn't have the wolf tail when she's on the wolf, right? Like, it's supposed to be part of the wolf, not part of her. No, or... she does. All... She she also has a wolf tail. Really? Yeah. Intriguing. Oh, there's no story after this. I thought there would be. Oh, well. That yeah. makes it. I guess it's a short episode after all. There we go. Uh, I'm exhausted. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time <laughs> with the paralogue, maybe. Yeah, I'll see you next time. See you next time.